Hello everybody, I'm Zenith Warrior Princess. Welcome back to Zen Streams, where I stream one of the numerous different games in my collection. Joining me once again is Rosenhacker. Rosenthorn, hello. Rosenthorn, Rosenhacker. You use many different names. Nope, I got rid of Rosenhacker a long time ago, but... It's a thing. It was, it was a thing. Ha <laughs> he hacked it out. <laughs> and we also have Enigma. How's it going? What day is it? What month is it? What what year what, is, is it? What, 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 where am I? Is the Rock president yet? <laughs> Shut up. Um, well, welcome, welcome to the stream. We're gonna be streaming some Pokemans in a bit, but apparently, I don't know what Ghostbusters is. What's a Ghostbusters? <laughs> what is a Ghostbusters, Rosen? Look, you reacted like it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, Breakfast is ruined. Face it. Bre oh. <laughs> you don't, you don't get the you don't get the Ghostbusters reference, but you get the damn I way gamer man. <laughs> I, I oh, gosh. What was that, Rosen? Nothing. Nothing. Are you okay? Yeah, that's it. I'm we're, fine. <laughs> we're just we're we're teasing. It's okay. In any case, we're going to be streaming some Pokemans today. It's, it's all about them Pokemans. We're back with yeah. Pokemon Red. It's been a little bit since we last uh, had our Pokemon, but... No, everything is just... Uh, yeah, let's see. No, I'm just checking my sound... Sound mixture. Open sound... I should have done this before I started the stream, but I am I'm good at my job. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's not too loud. Nope, it's perfect. Everything's where we had it. So let us begin. When last we left off, we had uh, acquired several new Pokemon. And I believe I was leveling up. I was just doing some power leveling. Okay. Let's see, um, where's the volume on this thing? Uh, video sound... Can I help you, baby? <laughs> My cat is, 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 uh, is saying, is issuing disapproval. Hello? About. Hello? My name is Kana. Mm -hmm. You go, okay. Uh, for some reason, the, uh, when you're fiddling with the settings, it's zoomed in to where we just see the settings bar, and it's just about on the giant screen. <laughs> That's stupid. All right. Anyway, um, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Hold oh, uh, do we want to let anyone know that we're doing this. Yes. I know we talked about that earlier. Um. You can tweet it out. Uh, I'm I'm waiting for, for uh, if if Lewis wants to show up, he can. Okay. Okay. Volume. All right. Volume is good. Can everybody hear it on the thing? Uh, on the stream. Yeah. Stream. I just want to make sure because it was just very loud in my headphones. Yeah, we can hear. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, let us start. The false start. That No, 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 that didn't happen. All right, so. Let's see. Zanash. Um, I, have, I, I have no badges. My Pokédex. I own 9, scene 12. So that's not bad. Yep. And I uh, believe I'm just leveling. So I can fight the Brock. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 I have an idea. Yes. Why don't we try taking Linkarasar and fighting uh, the trainer before Brock? 
I mean, we could do that. See where we are. Okay. Why not? Ugh. Thank you, Thunder Chub. Thunder Chub MVP. <laughs> All right, Pokemon. So I feel we... the ch feel the Chub. Feel the Chub. <laughs> let's see how we fare. Chubby. All right, Nidonius. Let's do this. Jim, Pewter City Pokemon leader Brock. The rock solid. He's rock solid. <laughs> is he rock hard no. too? Pokemon oh, trainer. He is rock hard. <laughs> he can't do anything about a boss. His alibi is rock solid. Ah, uh, God. Yeah, I went highbrow. Can you smell am... what the rock is cooking? Can you smell what the. <laughs> Can you smell what the Brock's cooking? Because I'm a very good chef. <laughs> I can even turn these rice bowls into jelly donuts. <laughs> they <laughs> reference that. Somehow. They reference that in the uh, the new anime. It's really, it's really good. Hiya, I can tell you have what it takes to become a Pokemon champ. Uh, the uh, commit leader, the rock solid snake trainer, takes to a Pokemon champ. I am no trainer, but I can tell you how to win. Let me take you to the top. Should we say yes or no? Uh, let me see. Nah, it's just, he's just going to tell you about uh, the, the rock type. Nah, I don't need your help. Screw That's your... What I'm here for. Fuck your couch. It's a free oh, service. Oh. Let's get happening. Oh. Yeah. He's, he tells me anyway. Yep, because Gen 1 is fun. The, our choices mean nothing. Everything is the meaningless. Card. Let's just all go crazy. <laughs> I'm reminded of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, or not Thousand Year Door, Super Paper Mario, where uh, at the beginning of the game you can you can deny the, requ the request to save the world three times and get a game over immediately. <laughs> <laughs> All right, step right there, kid. Uh, I hear I'm hearing suggestion there is going to be a new Paper Mario on Switch. Mm. I feel yeah. very. Because I, I I like the layer Paper Mario games, but I'm the, I'm in the minority because apparently a lot of people don't really seem to like it. I haven't people played have, much Paper people Mario. Have, people have absolutely come around on Color Splash. I think it's Sticker Star that people still hate. Yeah, I'm, I yeah, haven't Color played Splash any of those. Um, but people seem to really just drool over Thousand Year Door. Like, okay, yeah, it's fun, but I don't get it. I mean, actually, yeah. I prefer Super Paper Mario over Thousand Year Door. Well, people don't like oh, Super do. Paper Mario because of the uh, the waiting thing. I, I think you have to, like, go, oh, on. go go on a treadmill for like 15 minutes or something. Yeah. I mean, I understand that, but the rest of the game's great. Like, that's the one game I have played and I like. I really, um, I really like the. Wait, um, can I can I continue the dialogue at least first? Please do. <laughs> You're still light years from facing Brock. All right, let's. You can talk now. Just try to refrain from when we're in dialogue. I really like that feature in Paper Mario where you flip the uh, the scenery around. That's really fun. Oh, the, really, the, you know, yeah. Oh no, he has a Diglett. Whatever will we uh, level ten? Okay. What? Yeah, Link Arthur. But I also heard other suggestions that we might be finally getting the Metroid Prime trilogy on Switch. That'd be cool. It would be good to I'd get be, it without motion controls. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd be interested to see how 3 plays without motion controls. Which, oh, that's right. That's why we didn't go to the gym right away. Linkara Star doesn't know Vine Whip yet. Yeah. And I well, can't run. I can't run. I have Leech Seed, at least. Yeah. Okay, swap out. Swap out. No, I'm going to... Do I have an item? I have, oh, yeah, I have a potion. Actually, that, that's perfect. That's what I was thinking. Perfect. Okay. Haha, -ha, you've been seated, you diglet bitch. You fuck. You dig bait. You dig bitch. So, uh, yeah, I was saying earlier, I was, I was, uh, I started watching B Stars with Casey. It's very, very good. It's no, basically no. Zootopia set in a high school. Interesting. Like, uh, the first episode, 
weirdly enough, isn't it sets up a thing that doesn't isn't really like the main focus, I guess. Where uh, one of the herbivore students is eaten by one of the carnivore students, and it's it's like a murder mystery. But at least in the, we've only seen the first three episodes. They don't really visit that that much. Oh, Link Cross, I leveled up to level 11. Yay. About to use Sandshrew. Will I change Pokemon? Yes. Uh, uh, Rockhawk. Let's do that. So uh, Rockhawk. <laughs> Sandshrew looks adorable in this game. I do love the design for some of these characters. Some of them are... <laughs> some of them are not as well, like... Uh, Spiro always looks like he's going, Hey! Hey, everybody! <laughs> I'm Spiro! I'm Spiro! <laughs> yeah, uh, Sandshrew looks like a fucking beanie baby here. Yeah, it's a little plushy. Yeah, uh... So, yeah, they, uh, they discover the murder, and, uh, everyone starts, uh, suspecting, like, basically a, a race war almost breaks out between the, the carnivores and the herbivores. This is not good. Yeah. And, uh, follow a wolf named Legoshi. Like, spelled like Bella Legosi. But, uh... Quick attack. Come on, you're my only hope, Rattata. You're in the top percentage. But, uh... And he... Uh... The first episode ends with him tackling a, uh... A rabbit named Haru, and we don't know why. It's basically his instincts kick in. And no, he Remy. Out. Damn it. And then in the next episode, it turns out he just cradle her for a while 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 trying to figure out what to do. And when he goes to apologize, she thinks that he wants to fuck. <laughs> Look, okay, some people just want to fuck. No, I know. Look. And the show like puts her as the uh, as the the most sexually active character, and it's, I think that's really interesting. But it's also kind of creepy because she's voiced by Kari from Digimon, who's also that weird plush thing in Kingdom Hearts Three. You mean Chirithy? Chirithy, yes. But the point is the same voice. For and all three. yeah, we're not strong enough to to defeat Brock. Light years isn't this. time, it measures distance. I'm learning things. Let's go get Vine Whip. Let's go heal first. Yes. They destroyed by fun. Remy. They, uh, they, dest they destroyed my Remy. But uh, speaking of Digimon, that's out right now. Kind of. Did you hear well, about this? Uh, I no, I did the not. The Evangelion movie got uh, postponed. Yeah, well, I more meant uh, Digimon Adventure is getting is their uh, they were airing a remake until the virus postponed it. Ah, uh, and apparently it's really good. This well, is the first season or the second season? First, first, this is first. Yeah, I want to. I want to. I want a remake of the second season. I want TK and Gary to get together this time. God damn it! Well, that might happen if this season is is a success because it's really well received, and it's actually like updating it because, like, they have phones now and shit like that. Mm -hmm. They apparently took the uh, the framing device of the second uh, Digimon movie. Mm -hmm. Hair, stupid hair. Anyway. Um, let's see. It oh, is time Jesse's to train. Here. Let I us think. train. Jesse's here, but he's muted. Wait, who's muted? Jesse. Demo, demo. Hold on. How do I unmute? I think he's muted himself. Yeah, yeah he controls his own mute. <laughs> you can't he, unmute people. That yeah, would be madness. Demo, you have to unmute yourself. There, oh. Hello? I think maybe it was me who was muted on my part. Yes, it was. Hello, Demo. Long time Hi. no talk. It's been a while, yeah. yeah. Who, who are you? <laughs> I mean, I'm talking. Yeah. Hello. It's been ages, yeah. It has, yeah. 
Welcome, hello everybody. This is Demo Versailles. He, uh, uh, ghost of someone from the past. A ghost from the past. Mm. If you, oh my god, that's a delay. If if you watched the old uh, Kingdom Hearts streams that we did way back in the day, he's the one who appeared near the end. Who while we were talking about gangsta tunes and uh, Bambi was our ride or die. It, it was it was a lot of fun. So, uh, how's it going, uh, Demo? How, how's, how's things? Hello? Hello? I mean, quarantine times, so, you know. You know, quarantine. Yeah, yeah that, that is a lag. Yeah, really lagging. Yeah. Well, we'll figure out the lag. Um, yeah. In any case, uh, we're playing Pokemans. We have a good team going for us. It's 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 fun times, super fun times, and uh, we're leveling up right now. So we have not much to talk about. Yep, which is why I, I uh, brought up the new anime season, which uh, we'll talk about periodically. But also, I'm the one telling Zenith what choices to make. Casey, come here for a second. Wait, you get to decide who lives and who dies. I, I I don't know if I'm a, I'm I'm prepared to let you do that. Yeah. He's muted right now, but. Oh my god, I've seen purple in a long time. Yeah, I thought you would uh, enjoy that. Yeah, demo has been uh, busy doing some things, and uh, they decided to uh, to join us for today. Um, yeah. I'm only hearing the stream audio, which I think is causing the delay. Okay. Oh, Zen. Uh, no, sorry, not Zen. Uh, Jared. Uh, thoughts on 2K21 getting cancelled? Hmm. <laughs> uh, Demo, uh, have you... Uh, what might help is... Did you are you in the live stream for Visual Boy Advance? I I'm live streaming uh, it through Discord to make it easier. You just click on the Visual Boy Advance thing where it says go live and uh Yeah. Do 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 That might help. I I know some people are having issues with that. I know Phil was having issues with it last time. And Adonius grew to level 9. Let's see. Alright, now we're gonna want... Hmm. I'm gonna try to... I'm gonna upgrade Remy, because Remy got... Remy uh, got... Linkarasar is should be your focus right now. Linkarasar will be my focus after I get everyone else to level 9. Well, okay, fair. Because I was going to say we need to get Vine Whip as the main priority. You know, what, when that happens. you know what my main my, my main priority is? Demon Souls. Well, what is in front of you right now? Demon Souls. I mean, you can't, you can't prove it isn't. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just going to... Look, Rosen. It hurts. I'm not gonna. We're, we're having fun. I'm having fun. Look, I, I, I'm sorry. My, my head is actually hurting because the sinus is. It's okay. But yeah, we're, we're, we're leveling up. In any case, I've been playing a lot of Demon Souls lately. Uh, been really getting into it. It's a frustrating game, but it's very fun. It, there's, there's something about it because when I first played it, like many years ago. I immediately put it down because I hated it and then I tried it again and I got a little bit further and I was like all right maybe uh, but then playing it this time something just clicked I don't know what it is I think maybe I I knew the layout of the first like level or something like that but I just I've been having a lot of fun except for the flame lurker boss that can burn in a fiery pit of hell and yes it's a fire demon but still fuck it say, wouldn't that just make it more powerful Okay, it can burn in a watery grave. There you go. Get back in the watery fire. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh... I don't want to step on Demo's toes as he's fixing the uh, the Discord stuff. So. Yeah, no. he's 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 fixing some stuff. He he will chime in when he's uh, when when they're ready. They will chime in when they're ready. Um, okay, that sounds uh, good. I, I was asking you, Jared, about what you thought about Two K Twenty One getting cancelled. Oh, it makes sense. Not even because of the quality of the game. It's just the dud doesn't feel like. There's no roster this season. <laughs> well. 2K20, there were 50 people. You know what they would do? Yeah. If they made it, they would have to make sure the fans weren't in the stadium. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> just... You know how bad 2K20 turned out, right, Zenith? I've heard the rumors. I it's saw. Really I, yeah, I don't think it was. There was it even a Switch port this too? No. No, I didn't think so. Yeah. Uh,. I apologize, I did not know by, that demo went by they. That is my bad. Uh, it, I don't want to, like, say on stream, but anyway, um, I just was correcting myself. Fair enough. We have Bulbasaur learns Vine Whip at level 13. Level 13. Well, you know what we have to do? We have to whip up some vines. Yep. We need we we're gonna need a montage. We can't do montage. We need a montage. Montage to your montage. Montage. It's gonna be a montage. Montage. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. This is the Dark Souls. Gen 1 is the Dark Souls of Pokemon. It takes forever really... to grind. Am I the only one who's sick and tired of comparisons to Dark Souls? Oh, this game is hard. This is like Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Dark Souls. Dark... Dark... Yeah, well, that's the joke. Don't, don't you understand Crash Bandicoot, Cuphead, uh, Breath of the Wild, and Hollow Knight are Dark Souls? They're part of the Soulsborne series. Okay, Hollow Knight is the one that's actually apt. <laughs> Hollow Knight isn't that hard, from what I've played. I it, it can be hard. It can I gave be up halfway through. through. <laughs> it's but it's a very different type of mechanic in terms of the fighting. Like it's dark, d Demon Souls and Dark Souls, like the way it's set up is it's intentionally made clunky on purpose, and uh, they they do some some really neat things with that type of combat, but at the same time. It is somewhat frustrating to play, but when you beat the bosses and you get re really strong, it's like there's a reward. I, with with Hollow Knight, you're it's much fast paced. It's it's very fast paced. It's a lot more balanced and a lot more you know. If you fuck up, it's your own fault. Well, a Demon Souls. A lot of the times, if you fuck up, it's your own fault, or it's a trap of the game, like a beginner nah, trap. Nah, if it, if it fucks up a demon, it's because it's really cheap. It's really cheap. Not all, not necessarily. Like there's some some things that I was able to easily avoid that people are like, oh my god, this boss is so stupid. I'm like, magic its head, boom. <laughs> There is a balance to everything. I, I'm, I'm a magic build myself, but also... As far as I know, I think they severely nerfed magic in later games. Yeah, magic build is very, very good in Dark Souls... Not, not Dark Souls, in Demon Souls 1. But also, it's... When it comes to the way things are, you have to balance it out. Like, Because you can't just have a magic build. you got to have a kind of balanced character in both. And um, it's just... A lot of it is soul grinding. <laughs> All right, Thunder Chub, you're back in the game. Uh, who rushed into the demo? Do you uh, like, is it a mic issue? Because it keeps seeing like mute symbol on, but I don't know if uh. I think he's mute's just mute's just mute. It doesn't. I think they're manually muting their mic. Okay, just didn't want to assume. Um, but uh, you know, it's it's completely up to them. I I know. Uh, this was kind of rushed because they didn't know we were streaming today. Mm -hmm. And, well, technically I did this last minute because... I muted because I can't hear the uh, Discord audio. I can only hear the stream audio. 
That's weird. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is, that is odd, but that makes sense. And we, we can work through it. Um, yeah. In any case, uh, we, we're, we're having fun. Um, my roommate last minute was just like, oh, we're, we're streaming on Friday. I'm like, oh, right. Uh, okay. And I can't do Saturdays because that's when I'm with uh, Lewis. So it's either Sunday, which is eh. Like, you don't get a lot of turnout on Sundays, unfortunately. And Thursdays, which I just wanted to do something fun today. Especially because, yeah, yeah. Normally I would be streaming tag team with John uh, on Thursdays. And SWO with John on Saturday, on Fridays. So uh, I try to make it when I can, but yeah. It's not easy. I'm just, I'm kind of playing it by ear at this point. I don't have a date because everyone has their things and I want to... I... I just, I, I just want a, de a nice de-stressing stream, um, especially with Demon Souls, and and the three games I'm playing again. I'm playing Dream Drop Distance, which is a slog to complete, not 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 to finish, but to complete 100%. Uh, yeah. I'm playing One Piece World Seeker, which is, it's okay, it's not the best, and then Demon Souls, which is a lot of fun but very hard. So. I feel like Animal Crossing would actually be the perfect game for you then, because it's the one game you don't have to worry about completing 100%, because there is no 100%. And there will the be for me. Of it, the whole point of it is just to chill and have and have a good time. <laughs> Say hello. Just see. He, he goes, Zen, enjoy Animal Crossing. I completed it. What? I completed it. But... but how? Not even, not even out yet. yet. Everyone, say hi to... Say hi to Kana. But that's how good Zen is. She'd go in and complete it. <laughs> Hi, With, Kana. Without time traveling. Kana, now you're upside down. <laughs> oh, is a good baby. Let me alter the camera. See? She's arm girl. Hello. My little baby. I love you. Why are you screaming? Why are you screaming at me? Did you want to be on stream? Is that why? Well, you're on stream now. These are the consequences that, of your actions. <laughs> okay, kitty break. <laughs> Bye, kitty. <laughs> uh, we always need a kitty break over here. Anyway. I love my kitty. But yeah, I've I've been playing some some games that are kind of tough to 100% complete. I mean, granted, Dream Drop Distance and One Piece World Seeker are easy platinums, but it's just getting there is the problem. <laughs> um, I, I I I'm not sure what I want to play after I beat one of these. I'm thinking Grand Theft Auto. Three. I know it's going to be hard to 100% complete, but I really want to get into the series. Ah, oh, shit, here we go again. <laughs> what happened? That was a Grand Theft Auto reference. Oh. <laughs> 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 I haven't played the games yet. I want to get into the It's a meme. It's a meme. It's a meme. It's specifically from San Andreas. Oh. oh <laughs> Did you See, hear I me? Actually haven't yes, I heard yeah, you. Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, my God, I got it working. Yay! Oh, I have GTA 3 San Andreas and Vice City on my shelf, PS2. Still haven't touched it. <laughs> Still haven't starred them. San Andreas uh, is really good. Vice City is really, really good. Oh, yeah. I would I, love if they re-released them on the Wii. Oh, not the Wii. The Switch. Oh, it would have been far more on the Wii. <laughs> oh, my God. That would have been a nightmare. <laughs> I have them downloaded on um, my PS4. I have three San Andreas and um, and uh, but I, I guess Vice City. It was the, bas just... basically all three were, were put put on uh, PS4, and I'm ready. I'm like ready when to play it. I just I need the right st st starting time. And Kitty, what are you doing here? Here, I Kitty. know I haven't played Kitty. them, but. I have seen footage Kitty. of them, and, you know, I don't think the, G the GTA 3 series has really aged well in terms of graphics on the PS2. It didn't exactly, it didn't exactly look pretty back then either. But, no, uh... The PS2 couldn't really do... Like, it was fantastic at the time, but, like, 
It, it couldn't I mean, do a lot of polygonal I'd graphics. Play Saints for the third any day of the week. Uh, um, yeah, GameCube was a lot, GameCube was a lot prettier with games, especially compared to the PS2. The pro the problem is because it was cel shaded, people used to think it was childish. Which I'm just like, I loved the GameCube. Oh, I saw a trailer for a brand new game that's coming out this year called Waterbound, and no, it's not a sequel to Earthbound, but it's basically. Is it a sequel to Skybound? It's basically Link's Awakening, Breath of the Wild, Wind Waker, and the lead character is Moana. It's nice. <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome, actually. It does look pretty pretty. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm waiting for the right moment to get into that, but it's just like, I have a few games that I'm like, I'm kind of in the middle of that were on my backlog. A few of... games? Your backlog is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, you, you've seen my trophy list. It's My backlog I is have. crazy. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I figured I, I needed to at least get a little bit further in Demon Souls. I had only been phalanx at the time Time management is important um and i mean now that i have free time this is the time to actually play the souls yeah there you go um i wish i, I could concentrate on video games these days i just i don't know i don't um, know if it's the anxiety of the quarantine or what but like i just can't sit down and concentrate on them i get oh, i, yeah. I feel that kana quick, uh is that another can't see the game how uh, you can't see the game Am yeah, I me neither. That? It's saying stream oh, paused. There we go. Oh, you fixed it. it it's, it's weird. I want to get a new game, but then I feel like, oh, do I have time to actually play it? Like, I gotta do this now. I really want to put some time into it. Oh, but then I just end, I just end up not playing it at all. I, I play one game until I get a little bit tired, and if it's a really good game, I'll play to completion. When it, when it comes to the three games I'm playing right now, I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm two of them, and the other one is hard, so I need to pace myself. You're currently playing Pokemon, Demon Souls, and uh, uh, one of the Kingdom Hearts, right? Dream Drop Distance, but I'm also playing One Piece War World Seeker. Oh, how is that? It's decent. I think DBZ Kakarot is much better. And it, it, it's like, it, it's its own individual story. It's it's set with like, it's set on its own island. It's not canon. Um, but essentially you have all of the people from One Piece and you can, it's an open world game. Uh, the problem I have is the fighting mechanic. It's it they have like skill trees that you have to put into, and at first it's a little bit eh, a little bit shallow. But like there's some things that I I like about like the the movement mechanic is kind of like your Spider Man because you can rub like grab onto trees. Um, and Do you only play as Luffy or? As far as I can tell, you can only play Luffy un until you get to the DLC. I'm trying to remember what there was one PlayStation Two era. Mm -hmm. Uh, One Piece game that I absolutely adored. I didn't expect to like it, and it ended up being like Power Stone, but incredible. Oh, uh, Unlimited Adventure? No, I don't think it was that one. Unlimited I the Cruise? I'll, I'll look it up. Okay. Um, my my thing is with when it, uh, Kitty, your tail is in the way of the camera. <laughs> do you see this? Do you see this? <laughs> Kit, Kit, do you want to be a star that much? Come here. Come here. Oh my! Ah, oh. here. Look at this kitty. You're gonna help us play, oh, or, or not? <laughs> I think it was Grand Battle. Actually, that was, it, was a yeah. pretty early one. Grand Battle. Um, I need to I need to get through some of the old, um, One Piece games. But my my thing with Unlimited, uh, not Unlimited, World, with One Piece World Seeker right now is, it takes so long to get going. You don't get the crew back until chapter six. And a lot of it is just spent, like, doing fetch quests, and a lot of the side quests are uninteresting. Um, but upon Chapter 6, you get the crew, you start getting this karma dynamic where you can do little side missions with, um, by helping other people, and uh, your karma with certain factions are improved, including the villains. And, but the thing that really got me about this was, apparently Germa 66 are enemies in the game, Crocodile's an enemy in the game. I'm like... This is all non-canon because this would not make sense. And laws in the game. I don't know. I, I prefer Kakarot because it it did a great job of doing what it set out to do. It didn't do enough of it. But it was very, very fun to play. 
I just sometimes find myself not wanting to play through World Seeker because there's just a lot of tedium sometimes. Mm. Um, if I would recommend a One Piece game, Pirate Warriors 1 and 2 are fantastic. They, they also get repetitive, but they're still fun to play no matter what you're doing. And um, with Pirate Warriors, uh, I need to play 3 and 4, but like they're just really interesting beat-em-ups and like they get more and more characters as the series goes on but as for demon souls i'm just a stubborn bitch and i started <laughs> it and i will finish it fair enough um but it really is a good feeling when you beat one of those bosses except for flame lurker okay okay rant time the second, I, I beat all the level one bosses, no sweat. I beat the first level two boss, uh, the Tower Knight, no sweat. I got to Flame Lurker, which is the second boss of Stonefang Tunnel. Like, the lead up is completely simple. It's very easy. Then you get to this boss. He is the toughest thing in the goddamn game. And it, it took me all night last night to beat him. <sighs> Even yeah, I saw your tweets. You were, you were not... <laughs> having a fun time for a while i was um the the thing i was doing was i equipped the thief's ring which makes you know if you go out of sight of an enemy if you go like a little far, far enough away they can't see you so i was taking pot shots at him and i would go behind the pillar but the problem is my mp would run out eventually so i had to equip a ring that also allowed mp regeneration but it, like so i get him halfway down health i'm away with the thief's ring and i am waiting for 20 consecutive minutes just for my MP to recharge because I didn't have any MP items because that's that's my fault, but I didn't want to have to redo the opening bits again anyway. So th think about it this way. You get this boss halfway, fill up your MP, you take a couple more pot shots, and he immediately runs toward me for no reason and kills you. Like, uh, he's just so ruthless and aggressive and fast, and his attacks are very hard to dodge. I eventually got used to dodging his attacks, but the thing is, you have to, uh, you have to, you can't react to his attacks, you have to, um, oh, you have to predict his attacks. <laughs> Especially with how slow the, con the, the rolling system is. My, my, my item, uh, equip burden is not under halfway, which means I'm slower, which sucks. Mm. Um, Max. Oh, are you fat rolling? I, I know that's a thing in Dark Souls. Yeah, I'm fat rolling. I'm not overburdened, but I'm like, I'm not under halfway. Uh, greetings, Zenith. Not going to be on long, but I wanted to drop in, see how you're doing. I've been playing Borderlands 3. Hey, Max. I'm doing good. Um, I've been playing Demon Souls, as we've been discussing. <laughs> um, but yeah, fat rolling is a thing. Um, there, there is a way to trap the boss, kind of, but he finds a way around it because they patched it. Because it used to be with the Flame Lurker, you could hide behind the ribcage. And you can kind of do that, but after, like, three pot shots, he notices you and he goes around it. And so then you have to trap him behind the ribcage. And it's just, like, it's just, it's, it's a war of attrition, but it's also a war of knowing when he's actually going to come for you. And... Uh, he also does, like, I, I have pretty high defense. I was, like, a pretty high soul level, but he, he does two-thirds of your health damage with his explosion attack, and that's, that's no good. That's no good. I've already talked to, um, my editor about possibly doing, like, souls in the future. Um, and one thing I'm gonna do is my rating of souls bosses, uh, for each game, because that's the thing. And that sounds interesting. I'd love to hear your take. Right now, Flame Lurker is at the top. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now, Flame Lurker, Flame Lurker ain't nothing to mess with. The easiest so far, I mean, uh, Adjudicator was probably the easiest so far. Leechmonger was pretty... I, I meleeed Leechmonger, and I don't melee. Like, I ran out of magic, and I just went down to Leechmonger, and... Uh, tanked all all his damage he's not that hard a boss um but uh yeah so far not not many of the bosses have given me trouble it's just there's a lot of like 
beginner's traps. There's a lot of things that in the lead up to the enemy. And whose bright idea was it to make an entire world a pitfall level? Because I was playing through World 5-1... And that is an entirely poison pitfall level where if you take one false step, you fall to the bottom in your death while you're fighting enemies. I have an answer to that question, but you're not going to like it. Because of <laughs> because the, the guy likes Blight Town, apparently? I don't know. Oh, Blight Town's the worst. <laughs> Blight Town was fun. I liked Blight Town. I, I'm weird, I guess. Here's the thing. I, what I like about these levels is they're short. Getting halfway to the shop, like, once you start f feeling out the level, they're not that bad. And I use maps because I'm a noob. Um, and so I could see what was coming up. Uh, but, like, when it comes to these sort of maps, once you realize the layouts, it's not that bad. It's just there's a couple alternate pathways, and sometimes it's vertical. Um, but then there are certain maps that I like above others. I love Boletaria Palace 1-1 one, one, and 1-2 one, because they're very straightforward and easy to figure out. I loved Shrine of Storms 1-1 one, one because, again, it is very much the same thing. Um, and while Tower of Latria was a little bit confusing, it wasn't too, too much. But Stonefang Tunnel is so damn dark and uh, the valley level is a pitfall. It is one gigantic pitfall. Um, it's just navigating through those levels was the challenge. Is Dark Souls, not some Dark Souls, I'm saying, um, is, uh, is Demon Souls still just exclusively on the PS3? No, oh, Dark Souls or Demon Souls? Demon, Demon Souls, Souls, specifically. Yeah. I know the servers are down, so, I mean, I would imagine it's only, like, it hasn't been remade. Um, and I don't know if it's on the PC, but I know that, yeah, like... Yeah, well, yeah, Demon Souls is just on PS3. Yeah. yeah. My PS3 is a piece of hot garbage. It's <laughs> one of the, like, 60 gigabyte original models that can do backwards compatible stuff. But yeah, it's got overheating it... issues like crazy, so... Mm. Yeah, well, that's the problem with the PlayStation series. They always have the Transformer inside instead of... It was I... better, it's better oh. than the Red Ring of Death. That's yeah, no, that thing plagued all. That was that was like just that. stupid uh, circulation issues with the Xbox. That was. I love the PS4 though. The, the PS4, PS4 is a, a good system. system. It is a beautiful system, and I I will say that the Xbox 360 was also a beautiful system. I just never owned it. It I had will, problems, will... but it won. Like I mean, the Wii won that generation. But like <laughs> even though it had shovelware. The PS3 and the Xbox 360. The 360 was. At least in the states, like super the duper one. Yeah. The Wii had a lucky break for a few years, but the 360 was probably the most successful in the long run that generation. And the thing with the 360, it had good games, it had good support, it just had issues. And it's like I really, really wanted to own one. I own an Xbox One now, or an X Bone, I should say, an X Bone, mm -hmm. uh, um, to because the naming conventions. Okay, get this. So it's Xbox. One, the number one, then they have Xbox 360, Xbox O N E, Xbox One, and then Xbox One Series X, and, and uh, no, no Xbox, Xbox One X, X Xbox One S, Xbox One S, uh, Xbox One X, and then Xbox One Series X, which can be abbreviated to Xbox One Sex. They're very bad at their job. Um. I, I, I got an Xbox One for free because I knew somebody who had one who didn't want it and they had a set of virtues and they wanted to get rid of it mm -hmm. and I didn't want to give them money. So <laughs> they just gave it to me anyway. Uh, I have used it so little. I despise I, I, its UI. I haven't used it that much, mostly because, like, while I do like some of the games, I tried playing Gears and then I just, I was like, initially, eh. Because I got the Gears collection for it, but I also got the Halo collection for it, which I'm going to get to eventually. But it's just, it, it's sitting there, it's staring at me like Teddy, like, tell me why don't you play me? I'm like, well, yeah, because I have all these good PlayStation games I need to finish. I still think right now that the Switch is dominating really well. 
The Switch is selling out like super fast. Like there it's are selling out like available, like everywhere. As, as somebody itself. who had to endure the Wii U and how much shit it it received, and I'm not gonna lie, some of it was deserved, but it was it got a really really bad rap. I is also is a pretty so... bad system. I'm or riding. Wii U, I'm riding the Switch like... train pretty hard. I believe in the Switch. Um, it, it's it's a very good system, and I mean I've been a fan of Nintendo for a while. It just some of their the Wii and the Wii U were just not. <sighs> hmm, how do I put this? They, they were aiming for, for a different market. They were they were not for me. <laughs> they they were much more casual. They didn't have the games that I was looking for, and I mean, aside from their core, the core games like Mario and Zelda and and, and um, Metroid, like they didn't have enough for me to go on. The Switch, though, the Switch has the best Smash Brothers. It's the got Switch a legitimate has Pokemon game. It has uh, Hollow Knight. It has uh, Phoenix Wright on there. It has like Final Fantasy Nines on Switch now. You you have you have all these things at your fingertips. It has Mario Odyssey as a system seller. It's uh, got Super Nintendo and Nintendo games if you get the, the online pass thing, which is it's got the cheapest also online. super cheap. It's like twenty or twenty five bucks for a year. We got we got Vine Whip, Vine Whip, Tetris, finally. Vine Tetris ninety nine is the most addictive thing I've ever played, and the fact that we're now getting Crisis that one surprised me. Christ. Oh, we're getting Crisis. Let me know when we're getting Neopets on the Switch. <laughs> this is another. They're remastering. They're remastering Crisis. Yeah, it's gonna. I'm Switch surprised. is Switch. capable of handling a lot of really interesting things, and the the stuff that's available, like Octopath Traveler. I really want to get it. Don't have money, but I want to get it. It's pretty good. Its sprite work is really good. Um, there's just a lot of things that I want to play, and, and the Switch is on, like, it's in my schedule, like, I have stuff on the Switch that I'm going to review. Um, I try to keep a balanced approach to games. I don't have any bias towards Sony, Nintendo, or Microsoft. The problem is, each, each system has its quirks. Sony tends to have quirks when it comes to financial decisions and where they put their their uh their ideas microsoft has problems with games you know it doesn't it, it's 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 sometimes too edgy five me and um mm -hmm. with nintendo sometimes it's too casual for me so like it, i would also argue uh I, i've developed a thing called the nintendo or not me gigaboots developed a thing called the nintendo monkey's paw where Every Nintendo game is fantastic, aside from one aspect that sucks. And it's usually the online capabilities. Yep, the online is, I mean, is horrible. Oh, they mean Breath of the Wild. Amazing! Uh, and we have the bloody weapon degradation. That's um, in Animal Crossing, and I don't know why. Um, I what didn't is, hate okay, the okay, weapon okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. What is Super Mario, what, what's Super Mario Odyssey's? Too, too many moons. There's so many moons. That's not... That's not a monkey's paw. That's um, I cite the moon where you have to stare at the car in the sky for like five seconds. I would actually say, uh, uh, not not a big replay value. At least for me. For for I Mario think. Odyssey, um, like I I just I love the game. I just I I have yet to finish it. Um, I. I <sighs> hmm. We were talking about replay value for Odyssey. Did you ever try the uh, Luigi balloon stuff? No. I did not, no, no. I did, it's did so good. Shockingly, it is amazingly fun to do. The, I, the, I, the, I, yeah. Oh my god, the Geodude spray. <laughs> oh right, we're doing Brock. Okay, we didn't even talk about that. Oh yeah, yeah no. I, yeah. Why do you yeah. have the God Vegin in first? I really liked, um... Because... Nintendo's the approach to this year. This I'm leveling around. them up. You don't have any potions, do you? Lewis, let me add Lewis. Rosen, it's fine. It's fine. This is fine. The is uh, gonna sweep. It's fine. With Vine Whip, I can sweep. Um, But yeah, like, when it comes to Nintendo, with the there Switch, it's, it's a step up in the right direction and I'm glad to finally, like, stream and play some of those games in the future.
um, and, and, and review some of those. But, uh, you know, it just, they don't always make, they make casual friendly systems. They make systems that anyone can pick up and play and understand, except for the Wii U. Um, <laughs> oh, stop heading on the Wii U. <laughs> um, but they're very innovative, and I get that. I love that. Sometimes, though, you really do need a solid base, and that's what PS4 is for me. It's a very just... It's its not innovating, it's not revolutionizing anything, it's just very solid and good at what it does. Do you like RPGs? Yes. Then you should probably have a PlayStation console. Yes. If you love RPGs, PlayStation. If you love shooting, Microsoft. If, if you love, love video games, Nintendo. Yeah. If you love experiences, Nintendo is very good That's at good. experiences. Good. Yeah. They're not... Like, it's hard to even compare because, like, they're so different with their approach to gaming. They are stubbornly different, I would say. Like, I, I think, uh, the castle... I've said this many times. Castle Super Beast has a great... I just one-shot his Onyx. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Rock round. Double weakness. Grass does it done. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as you got Vine Whip, this was a this was a non -issue. done deal. Yeah, <laughs> and Linkarasar gained 162 XP points. I defeated Brock. Okay, <clears throat> is he shirtless? He is yes. shirtless. God what damn it! What are you doing, Brock? Well, oh, you see, it, it, he also I have to show you these rock hard abs. But no looking, <laughs> that's, no looking that is so on brand for Brock. I'm <laughs> super amused. Just imagine if he did that in in the in the show. He just took off his it. shirt whenever whenever he approached a girl. He just took off his shirt like, hey, baby, look at all this. <laughs> that is actually that a variant costume. Good. It's a variant costume in Pokemon Masters. Hey, hey, really? hey, Officer yeah. Jenny, you look familiar. Do you want to see my rock hard abs? <laughs> or, or and he gets arrested story. all the goddamn time for that kind of stuff. <laughs> I took you for granted, as proof of your. Kind of look like he's ready, like he's a backup dancer ready to throw down in a dance battle. Also, you, <laughs> you, you know why he lost is because his eyes are completely closed. <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> Today I met a guy with no eyes. <laughs> you know, as proof. I was supposed to. I was someone who bought the Wii U on day one. And oh I my thought, god, my is... condolences. Well, I was so excited for it. I was. I was super excited for it. I thought, this is this is it. We're going to have the big third-party title stuff on Nintendo. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> and Do you want to know how big... little impact the Wii U had when I bought it uh, on me personally? I bought the, uh, the Wind Waker Special Edition Wii U. Oh, yeah. Same. And I never even bothered to redeem the code to download Wind Waker. Uh, mm -hmm. I, wow. I, I, Wind, I Waker, barely Wind played it. Port, the Wind Waker HD port was actually pretty good. Oh no, I but... have some regrets. It was just like, I hooked it up and I played Smash Brothers and then I turned it off and yeah. then the code expired. I, I, yeah. Because I, I, I didn't play the Wii U anymore. I, I think I, I played Dokapon Kingdom on it as well. I, didn't know. I, I, really don't, I honestly don't blame you for I really not, wish you know. it would give us a new Dokapon game and a new Fortune Street game. I really want to play more Wii U games. I have a lot of ones that I either started or like own that I haven't really got into. The problem is, the problem for me was always the controller. Some games there was buttery smooth, others I had issues getting around the controller. Well, you're in luck because most of them are now on the Switch. Yeah. Anyway, um, the Switch Pro controller is a perfectly my... reasonable good. Oh, controller. I love your victory. Switch Pro Here's uh, can, can I finish? <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> not you, demo. I'm talking Nick. Because <laughs> every time I try to say it, he interrupts me. <laughs> I just have that way with you. Just... As proof of your victory, here is the Boulder Badge. As an ass received the Boulder Badge, but yeah, um. The, the the switch has a very very good base controller which is you know that's an official yeah. pokemon league badge as are there bootlegs yes <laughs> its bearers become uh pokemon become more powerful the technique flash cannot be used at any time take this with you cuz so Obviously, when I heard it, oh, when when the uh, Wii U was the main system, 
and you see all these big new third party stuff and you just saw Xbox and PlayStation and PC, you're like, Ugh. it hurts. It hurts all right. so much. Before so we when continue, that... I need to update the badge tracker um, yep. with a new overlay. Yeah. Mm. Boo do 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 image. Live, everybody. Da, 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 da. So I'm always very happy when I see big third-party stuff being announced for the Switch. Like, Doom was a big surprise when it first was announced. Right? That was a surprise. And but now Nintendo's we get actually been doing um, surprisingly uh, well with, like... They have completely flipped their, their old script. Wow, that's big. Um, they're now permitting like all sorts of game and content on the Switch. Well, uh, I remember way game. back in the day we they couldn't have a cross in a video game. It had to get censored and and reworked for a yeah. US release. Nintendo However, of America no longer gives a flying fuck. Yeah. However, that may be a double-edged sword because apparently hatred is coming to the Switch. Oh no. Oh, Lord, really? Yeah, they, I just saw the. I saw last week the person, the, the company that made it, show a, vi a picture of hatred running on the dev kits, on uh, Switch dev kit. I'm like, okay, so we're allowing AO no, games. That's a badge. Switch. My God, it's huge. Yeah, it was huge. <laughs> so we did yeah. it. If they're allowing yeah. AO games in the Switch, can we at least have um, uh, Honey Pop on the Switch, please? I'd really like that on the Switch. They would never. They're... I will never ever ever pronounce that game the way the devs want it to be pronounced it is huni pop that is how it is written that is how i will pronounce it incorrectly <laughs> until i fucking die yeah fair enough and all right you, go to the gym in cerulean and test my abilities okay anyway first of all how am i pokemon doing Good. sorry this is the uh uh it is cursing okay on your stream? I can yeah. knock it Oh, it is oh, perfectly okay. fine. Okay. Have you played um, Crypt of the Necro Dancer demo? Yes. Uh, uh, I, you, I think you... I actually got that day one on Steam. I I've, I've heard good things about that. So what what'd you think about when they uh, they got to make a sequel with fucking Link and Zelda in it? <laughs> uh, I thought it was awesome, and I thought it was going to bring Crypt of the Necro Dancer to a wider audience, which is really exciting. I didn't pick Absolutely. it up because I didn't have money for it at the time. Um, but, uh, I, uh, I, I was I excited admit, for it, and I thought it looked I really will, cool. Yeah, I will admit Decker Dancer's music is bloody awesome, but the game, my god, I could kick your ass! <laughs> oh, yeah, you definitely would. I was surprisingly not good at Crypto the Necro Dancer. Something you will die. Just, you, they, 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 make it, they make it, they make the, uh, the, the Zelda version is a lot easier in comparison. Oh, is it? Would you say oh, it's the Crypt easy. of the Necro Souls? What? Crypt of the Necro Souls. <laughs> oh fuck off! Oh. It's a it's a Dark Souls parody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, because Canes, Canes of Hyrule has um, yeah, Canes of Hyrule has like um, teleporting parts to all the levels. Uh, and yeah, it's it's a much much easier game in comparison. Um, what else is there? Uh, Celeste. Anyone played Celeste on the Switch? I did. I have I not. Yeah. It's very good. It is um, Katana Zero. Oh, that one. I haven't played that, but I want to. It is uh, Nine in the Woods. Oh, love that game. It, it is definitely. I, I, I'm still waiting for the physical release from mm -hmm. Limited Run. There was a uh, Switch game that I was that I, I had the privilege to play that I want to get because I enjoyed it so very much. Um, have any of you ever heard of Death Road to Canada? I've, yeah, actually. I've heard the yeah, name. Yeah, I have. It's a, it's a very, it's very retro style, isn't it? It was like, it really makes... fun. Like, like I was surprised. But that is that is a multiplayer game, through and through. Uh, get some people together and play that, and you will have a good evening. Um, what else is there? Oh, Untitled Goose Game. <laughs> I just love that. I have it's not just... played that yet. I want to so badly. I, I should probably buy that. Press I'm Y to honk. To. You gotta press Y to honk. Honk. Um, <laughs> oh, The Messenger. I've heard good things about that, too. It is really good. <laughs> if only we had yes. some badges. We don't need no stinking badges. <laughs> um, 
most of my Switch play is on Smash Brothers and now Animal Crossing, although I treat it more like a chore than a vacation. Um, I just got to get my dailies done. Yeah, I'm just, one, one of my favorites, favorite games that came that was announced for a Switch port was Ahead in Time. I was so happy was, when they announced awesome. it. I, I, I enjoy my, uh, my PS4 copy. At least I, I get do physical. Play least... that. I've never played it though. I, I it came out at a time when I couldn't. It um, plays a lot like um, Mario Sunshine, actually. Yeah, it's it's a tribute to GameCube uh, platformers. So Ooh. what are we doing here? I'm just I'm potions. just going around the town and looking to see what else I have to do. Okay, uh, nothing actually. I, I mean, actually, I, recently... I could pay money to go into a museum. That's stupid. No. <laughs> I actually recently just finished playing Doom 3 on the Switch. I didn't like Doom 3 when it first came out. I found the uh, the, the lighting and the, and the darkness and the PDA to be a real bog, a real chore for it. So I need but cut I got for this, that. So I got this yeah. new version on the Switch. You gotta go much... to the right, yeah. Alright, All right, I'm gonna save because we have, we have defeated the Brock. We we got our Brock out. Now it's time for the 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 real challenge, Mount Moon. Mount Moon's not hard. It's just a million Zubats and Geodudes <laughs> and and Parish and Oddish and. No, uh, those don't exist. It's only Zubat. Nah. Zubats and Geodudes and Oddish. Oh my! Zubats there's no, there's and Geodudes no, no, no and Oddish. Oh my! In, hey, I there. met you in Viridian Forest, so we're refighting a guy. So it's Zubat and Geodude. On the main floors, and then in addition, on the last floor, there's Clefairy and Paris. Rarely, mm -hmm. yes, we're gonna catch all the Pokémon. We're catching them all. So, Demo, what kind of genres are you more in, uh, in favor of when it comes to gaming? What, do you prefer a narrative? Oh, you mean a, oh? Are you talking about game design? Or are you talking about aesthetics? Or are you talking about game genre? Ooh. <laughs> Bit of both, actually. I mean, what what do you like in a game? Um, I can be gripped by basically anything. Uh, if the mechanics are strong and I'm not repulsed by anything else, then I'll be in it to win it just for the mechanics alone. If I the narrative is dope, I'll put up with a lot of shit. Then I uh, have a perfect game for you. Oh, yeah? My favorite game, Danganronpa. Danganronpa oh, is so I much fun. I've played all of them except for... V3? The, uh... Yeah, the one that was only on the Vita, which I okay. think was like the weird offshoot. Oh, you mean uh, Ultra Sister. Despair Girls? That that's... Ultra Despair Girls, yeah, that's because they were all on the Vita initially. Yeah. Uh, Ultra Despair I don't Girls is amazing. Say terribly much on Dungeon mm -hmm. because yeah. spoilers. Spoilers. Like, <laughs> the game is entirely spoilers. It's it's a mystery game. Yeah. Uh, it's a combination of Phoenix Wright, an Agatha Christie novel, Battle yeah. Royale. I just tell people uh, the basic premise. Sim. And, yeah. It's so weird and so interesting, but the narrative is incredibly good and it does span all the games. I will admit, I only played a little of the first one because uh, I had a poor internet connection and couldn't download it. So oh. I just watched a, a Let's Play of most of it. That's all um, I need at, point, at a certain point. Also, but also everyone's best girl, and third ones. especially Chiaki Nanami, especially best girl. I played this really interesting title. Chiaki... Look, gamer. Oh, from from the second one. Yep. Mm. Yeah, she was best girl. I played this really interesting title earlier this week because I've been going through the eShop trying to find something interesting because of, of, of all the boredom. It was called 1980X. It was a retro style arcade minigame film noir kind of uh, thing. Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. There's that thing. Hey, it's the meme lord. It's the Hi, meme lord. Uh, you, you said the thing from you, the thing. You know what I love? They're all the same sprite for the trainer, for the for the people that you fight. Like if you, you just take a look at the screen, they're the same person. Yeah, because they didn't have the ability to make people. I mean, I, I saw you go into your menu a little while ago, and it's been so long since I played Red or Blue that I forgot that like there were they that each individual Pokemon didn't have its own menu sprite. It was just bird, weird, angry <laughs> flower, uh, a fat seal. <laughs> Not only and that, like, but a or a I actually enhanced this because the 
this Pokemon Red is supposed to be black and white. I'm using the Game Boy Color emulator. Oh, there, oh um, then there was something that I played last week that you may like. It was called Super Crush KO. It was It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up with pastel colors fighting aliens to save your kitty. He's been kidnapped by a sexy alien princess. Nice. Um, <laughs> another thing I've noticed, I notice here, all the uh, they they don't individually have names for trainers. They're just youngster or just like yeah. lass. Yeah, you got the um, in going. So we got Picnic Liz and uh, Camper Barry and God, so many others. <laughs> God damn it, Barry Burton. <laughs> Barry. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm just gonna I'm switching. Rockhawk, yeah. take care of him. Then I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go back to the Poke Center, because half my team's getting wrecked. Wreck, wreck, wreck. That's wreck, another wreck. thing. The root, like the, the roots in Gen One Sorry. take forever. <laughs> yeah, everything in Gen One takes forever. Uh, go on, demo. Would you like to hear a really interesting Pokemon-based uh, thought experiment? Sure. Hmm. Okay, so anybody who's played Pokemon is probably oh god that back in Pokemon they'd prefer to have and like catch if Pokemon are real. Yeah. Like I imagine everybody's done that, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, but instead of that, what if you thought about your own life as you have lived it, the way you have lived it, and the experiences you've had, and if Pokemon had always been real. What would you have already caught? A Pikachu, so I have free electricity. But I mean, like, where would you have encountered a Pikachu? Like, just talking about your own life experiences. Well, I'm a machinist, so I would encounter them in the machining plant. Along with a bunch of metal types. I'm have you seen my mice of, and yeah. rats in your machine plant? Um, I, I, I... Well, yes, but also I electricity's there, and also... I would have a lot of Meltan and Mel Metal and and whatnot, but uh, I, I'm gonna stop for a second. The Ekin Sprite, man. <laughs> the Ekin Sprite, like, I, what are you doing with your well. eyes? What is your eyes? Ah, Ekins. <laughs> you know, it's fun to see that because considering how I live in Tasmania and we have such a unique ecosystem to heck even the rest of Australia. You would have a bunch very... of scorpions as Pokemon. Not in Tassie. Not in Tassie. We don't even have... Oh, what, what is... God, it just looks like a Japanese anime poop. <laughs> it does! Oh, God. What's wrong with your fresh? So, so this yeah, is I... what you get if you beat Breath of the Souls. So I'd, I'd probably have a, a very a, a unique variety of Pokemon in my bush. Oh, that's right. You live in Terrorland. Yes, he does. Yeah, I live in Australia. I live in I live in a, in a country where you go outside, there are at least seven creatures trying to kill you. <laughs> See, I, I'm trying to compartmentalize this because if where I live, it would probably be uh, some Pokemon that would be on the beaches. Oh, are you from the shore? Long Beach, yeah. I live in Long Beach. Nice. Uh, and oh god, I didn't want to do. That. <laughs> I was uh, trying to heal. If, if for my career path, I would be. I'd have a lot of fighting Pokemon. Uh, you looked at me, didn't you? I think <laughs> probably specifically Halucha and Incineroar. So, so looking at people in wrestling? equals battle. Yes, really. Uh, on and off training. Yeah, I'm planning to oh go. Oh my back, god! Uh, Congratulations and best of luck. Thank you. I, uh, I I did some for a few months, and then I'm uh, I mo I moved and uh, got some like job stuff. But I'm hoping to go back by the end of the year, assuming you know things go back to normal. Oh my god! That'd what be is I, normal I no really? Yeah. Well, it's oh been my god! What is normal anymore? <laughs> yeah. But uh, I I actually incorporated uh, Dangarampa and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure into my uh, wrestling stuff. Did you really? Yes. Yari yari does The stand arrow and the truth bullet. This is very entertaining. <laughs> this is very entertaining. Yari yari does it. Being stuck inside all the time has has me planning a lot of stuff. 
being stuck inside has allowed me to do things, but it's also made me very much like, oh god, I need to go out and do something. <laughs> yeah, it's it's driven me so stir crazy that I'm literally just pacing outside. I have this small where I'm living. I have a small like uh, uh, basement entrance that has like hey, a JP. sidewalk, and I'm just pacing like sixteen thousand steps a day. I I've tried doing that. The problem is because of the change in temperature, it's like e every couple of weeks my chest says no. And oh, I, I started a tra my training regimen um, a couple weeks ago and I was doing fine like uh, push-ups, sit-ups, squats, uh, and um, weights and uh, a walk every day. The problem is last week my chest was like, no, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, no, you have a legitimate reason to not well, one, I have asthma I because of my chest. Yes. Two, if if like my chest is hurting that badly, I'm just like I'm gonna take a week off. But I'm, yeah, I'm gonna I go don't back think to it. Gonna give you shit for that. Yeah, I'm doing good. But also like I've used the free time to um, work on scripts. I finished Star Trek season one, and I wrote that script. And I finished the Daleks, and I'm working on that script tomorrow. So it's I wasted, nice. I wasted that. Sorry, I'm, as we're doing this, I'm playing the original Final Fantasy VII. Aha. Uh -huh. But yeah, I, I've I've been watching some good sci-fi, and uh, Lewis has been watching. Like Lewis was watching some of the good episodes with me. He would not watch a taste of Armageddon. Um, but uh, me, Lewis, and uh, game show reviewer, we watched Devil in the Dark together, also known as the episode with the pizza rug monster. Um, we watched Operation Annihilate together, which is also known as the episode with the flying, uh, the flying vomit monsters. <laughs> um, and we watched Arena- Sorry, is this Doctor Who or Star Trek you're talking about? Star Trek. <laughs> wow, I legitimately couldn't tell them apart, for just from the description you were giving. And then we watched Arena, which is the episode where Kirk fights the lizard monster <laughs> and derives- Ah, the Gorn. And it, it legitimately is a good start to an episode, but once you get to the Gorn in the comet, because it's not the costume that's a problem, but kind of is, because the costume is so restricting that the the fight they had to the fight scene so slow they're going like. Mm, Do you know mm. the thing about the location? It, yeah, that's that's the uh, um, Vasquez Rocks. Vasquez Rocks. That's where they have the command center of Power Rangers, and uh, where Bill and Ted fell to their deaths. Yep, and. Oh, the last says I'm mean. You're the one who challenged me. <laughs> I mean, you did kind of just jump off a cliff right into her face. <laughs> Look, it's line of sight. Apparently, if you see me, you have to battle. That that them's the rules. Those are the rules. Um, but yeah, like I, we were having a legit a lot a lot of fun watching Star Trek with uh, me, Linkara, in game show reviewer, and uh, we were having a lot of fun. Um, but I have to wait until we get to season two. I have some things that I have to watch in between. Um, like I need to, once I get the Daleks up and going, I need to start working on some scripts and I need to watch the rest of Kamen Rider double. Um, I need to, I, need I to liked watch. double. Double was good. Double's a lot of fun. It, I need to continue <laughs> X-Aid. Also double is the series where they have a cat henshin, a cat henshins and it is beautiful. It's the first time an animal has. I don't has... remember that at all. Um, I got like a double. In double, um, they have the villains have a cat named Mick. He has a uh, Gaia memory, and he henchins. You're right. This oh, is... I do remember that now. I it... forgot about that entirely. It's the first time in the show's history that it happened, and it just so happened to be the first one that I'm going to review and like watch fully. And I had, I'm going to be doing something with it because. My show revolves around my cats, and I'm like, this is the only one where cat henchins. I kind of need to do something with this. I was so disinterested by Common Rider for so long because mm -hmm. I really, really dislike uh, Sentai stuff. Mm -hmm. The the team up form giant robot, like everything about it. Not everything about it, but like as a as a whole meal, it's it's nauseating to me. It's just like, oh, I don't. I don't like any of this. But it, it really I depends. Did... I believe that. I do. It, I, I, I might like, have just gotten spoiled by Power Rangers existing and just not jiving with that. It, also, it, it kind of, really depends uh, because, like, early early Sentai is weird. Um, I'm going to be 
watching some later, but like I think Kamen Rider is is a bit more adult. It's more teenagers. It's so much more adult uh, or teenagery. It's it's willing to to put its narrative forward a little more than at least I was able to witness in Sentai stuff. Um, Not to mention, there was a scene in Double characters. where, like, there was a guy half naked. <laughs> Double was Double was entertaining. It was a good show. D Double was a lot Double. of fun. I liked O's. I liked. Um, I liked Gaim for like the, the two thirds one? that I saw of it, but Gaim got kind of oh, weird one? near oh, the God. end. Hey, you like Madoka Magica? Here's it in Com here's it in Kamen Rider form. <laughs> like, uh, I, I didn't like, like what Wizard, they did with one I of the really characters. Didn't. <laughs> I uh I've only seen I've saw seen like five episodes of Drive and like a third of X Aid. The thing is, the guy I was watching with, uh, it was a really toxic relationship. Yeah, I know he was the same person who introduced me to Garo, which I love, but then like started being toxic and then blocked me for no reason. I'm not going to name him, obviously, but yeah, it's it's been hard to get back into it. Do I want to? I want to watch Forza so badly. The Forza is good. Forza is really good. I've heard good things about uh, Forza. The space one. X8 and Drive have heard mixed things. Or was it Zio? Can anyone hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah I can hear you now. Yeah, I can hear oh, you now. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, X8's the video game one. Oh, okay, X8's the good one. I, I think it's Drive and Zio that I've heard mixed things about. Drive well, I've heard one mixed things about Wizard, because I loathe it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll have to see. I haven't gone there yet. Right now, I'm starting with doubles. My plan is to go from double to Zio, and then go back to classic, because by then I'll have an idea of what Common Rider is kind of all about. And I didn't want to start with the classic stuff, because I, I want something that is more easily available and familiar to me. Actually, I think I just thought of a show that would be perfect for you. Um, How I Met Your Mother? No, uh, it's an anime that I actually have not talked about with you, which is surprising. You've okay. probably heard of it, Konosuba. I I have heard of Konosuba. The first season get got very good reviews. The second season kind of mixed, but this is coming from um, uh, this is coming from Arcada, who wanted more of it but didn't like the way they handled it. I I love Konosuba. Uh, Casey loves it. Holly loves it. It's a great show. Uh. The basic premise is, uh, it's your standard, it's a parody of isekai shows. Mm-hmm. Anyone not know what that means? I, I, I know what that is. I understood I that reference. Okay. It means yeah. Sword Art Online, it, or, or... It means sent to a different world. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Sword Art Online, or Sword Log Online Horizon, or... Sword Art Online Abridged is very funny, but it's I just... have no interest in watching Sword Art Online uh, agreed. Uh, like, uh, Abridged is just sort of online, the good version. <laughs> yeah, basically that. I but, uh, I'm, I like Sword Art Online, but I'm willing to admit it has flaws. You would like the Abridged series, then. It's, it's, You'd probably like the Abridged. It both highlights the good parts about it, mainly mm. uh, Asuna and uh, uh, Kirito's relationship. And, and everything the about the um, Sword Art Online 2 plot. Sword Art Online 2 was great. Like, they actually haven't gotten to... They're on uh, Alfheim right now. Okay, yeah, Alfheim Online was... Yeah. I, I will admit, it's really ref refreshing to see the uh, the villain actually t be taken seriously as a villain in that. Like, he is a legit creepy motherfucker. He Kaiser is. Kaiser Deco does a great... I, I asked Kaiser Deco about it. He said he loves... He, he loathes how much he... How well he can play that character. If that's I that's a good sign. So this guy, like, this guy if, if said, the voice actor's like, ugh, I'm not comfortable playing this character, <laughs> but I'll I do hate. it. Yeah. So yeah, this trainer just said, if I had new Pokemon, I would have won. Uh, well, then get new Pokemon. Yeah, but, <laughs> like, it's this, probably the, poor because people, trainers like you keep coming around and taking all his lunch money, and then he can't buy a Pokeball. So he's stuck with his, like, grandmother's old man. Well, then he shouldn't challenge me like, to a battle if he has crap Pokemon. I used to you play bass for grandmother's him. old metapod. Those are the rules. <laughs> Them's the rules. Yeah. The rules of this world are weird. But, uh, yeah, Kanosuba. Uh, it's a parody of Isekai shows where everyone's uh, kind of terrible. It's like Always Sunny in Philadelphia. But anime. Uh, basic conceit is this guy... Uh, for the Kaiser, last uh, time, yeah. Aqua is not useless. Yeah, that's where Aqua comes from. 
I, I know the characters. I know the explosion chick. Like they're 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 all over my Twitter timeline. Yeah, I, I was more explaining for you, for the others yeah. and for the audience. But the basic premise is this guy Kazuma. He's going to pick up this new game, and he sees a little girl about to be hit by a truck, or or was it a truck? No, it was a tractor, and like stop leaps in front of you know the Yu Yu Hakusho thing. The thing is. The tractor stopped with plenty of time to go, and he just died of a heart attack and pissed himself. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that look you gave me, it's so intriguing. Want a date? And so, he, his death was so pathetic that he's given another chance at, at life, or... What's this, what's this quote again? Uh, Konosuba, or Konosuba life, in another, yeah. uh, life in another... Life in another world. No, it's Konosuba, God's blessing on this beautiful world, which is meant to be ironic. But uh, he's met by this this uh, goddess Aqua, who says, "Okay, you can go to this uh, you can go to this fantasy world and uh, defeat the demon king, and you'll get you'll get uh, your life back. But you can take one thing with you." And he chooses her. <laughs> Not in like a sexist way, in like a "Hey, you're an omnipotent being. You can do this shit easily" kind of way. <laughs> my problem is my retet is better sucks. than yours my retet is better than your retata and so Kazuma, Aqua uh, the these really stupid wizard Megamine who her whole thing is she will only learn one spell and it is the spell explosion which basically has a giant bomb go off but makes her immobile and incapacitated for the rest of the day. She likes explosion magic. She knows what she's about, son. She will only use explosion and nothing else. Explosion! <laughs> yes. And then there's darkness. Darkness wants to be fucked by monsters. That's her whole thing. Well, she's an S She's. It's an SNM. She thing. is a humongous masochist. Yep. The fetishist dark. Yep. God Pigeon yeah. grew to level 11. Okay. And it's a pretty standard formula from there. They just, you know, defeat the Demon King, or try to defeat the Demon King. The point is, the show is ending soon, so now would be the time to jump in on it. You, or when it's ended. I will when I have time. Right now, my free time is spent gaming, streaming, yep. uh, watching stuff for review, um, <laughs> and uh, talking. I'm going to you in a general sense, but... And then, and then Lewis's stream and managing that. <laughs> There, there's a lot of good anime coming out lately. Um, there like, is a lot I of good wish, anime. I wish BNA was out for viewing, but it's in Netflix jail. You mean My Hero Academia? No, BN. Not. It stands for BN, like brand new animal. Is that the trick the studio? Yes, that is a new. That's a new trigger show. Okay. What about that new, what that new B Star show? Yeah, we were talking about it earlier. B Stars is awesome. Isn't that basically an anime if they made based off Zootopia fan fiction? <laughs> not, not literally, but yes, it's very similar to Zootopia set in a high school. Uh, thanks for the thanks for good, good wishes, JP. I'm not sure um, how long or when the the stream is gonna go on for because I know me and Jess are gonna take turns during the stream as part of it. But I know Game Show Reviewer will be there, or or we'll both be in different rooms or something. I don't know. Um, but you know that's that's part of the thing. There there will be Jackbox. There will be things. So go check out Lewis's stream uh, for his Jackbox. for his six hundredth episode. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, um, probably have to two hundred. That's really impressive. <laughs> yeah, he is he's a hard worker, and I've gotten better. Like we've put out more in four months. Like I've put out ten episodes in four months, which is more than I put out la like the previous year. So I'm, I'm happy yeah. with my output, but his... <sighs> yeah, it, episode replays. We're probably going to be doing, like, maybe replay of the 100th or something like that. Hey, you're not wearing shorts! <laughs> we have a dress code here, damn it. Damn it, you can't tell me what to do, you crazy kids! Get off my lawn!
I mean, this is Pokemon Red, so you are basically like what a ten-year-old fatherless protag. Yep, we don't have we don't have a father. We have a mother that we met, but she didn't care that we left. I I don't think well, we. Well, obviously, she wants to hook up with Professor Oak in the downtime. Uh, that's true. Although in this version of the game, we didn't. She didn't have to wait long because we had to keep going back and forth to find to, to finally get the Pokédex. Yeah, that's um, one thing I'm glad that was streamlined in Pokémon Yellow. Yeah. Uh, like the games just keep progressively getting better. Eventually, but, uh, those, we'll we'll yeah. we'll see the rest of the games. Yeah. Uh, for those wondering, like where I'm getting this info on new anime, it's all on uh, LiveChart.me. They track pretty much anything currently airing. Yeah. Um. Also, look how smug the Sparrow looks. He's like, "Yeah, I know I'm gonna, great. What of it?" I'm gonna get fried in a minute, but still, I'm gonna look at you. You ain't shit. I'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> I defeated yeah, um, youngster, but you you hurt my rat. Yeah, now I have to go uh, back. You're I, making me want to play sword again. <laughs> Sword's so good. It really is. I need to get there. Like you got some initial flack, and I don't personally think it was deserved at all. That game is. Nope. Super fun. I it think people. Uh, now, granted, game. the ending feels like stupid rushed, but I think people like, like to blow things out of proportion. And the biggest problem is my editor Phil was a big part of the anti train, and then he picked up the game, bought it, and played all of it. I'm like, there you go. I, Phil, like, I love you, but you need to stop. It's time to stop. It, <laughs> it, it was the stop best. Stop, Phil. When it came out, it's it's still the best Pokemon game they've made yet. Especially now that, that all the Pokemon are in it so anyway, so people complain for nothing. I yeah. mean, the narrative's pretty bad. Yeah, but I'm just saying mechanic-wise. Mechanic-wise, it's super good. Flow-wise, it's super good. It's the first Pokemon game I ever actually bothered to fully beat. Yeah. Um, now, granted, that might be because, and I'm embarrassed to say this, like every other Pokemon game, I'd get up to the point where I could revive fossils, and then I'd start resetting for shinies, and just stop playing. Yeah, I, I, I just don't have the patience for shiny hunting. As soon as I finish Gen 1, where we complete red, blue, and yellow, and get our complete Pokedex, we're going to be moving on. I, I want to I wanna actually play the gens that I haven't gone to yet. So next year. I remember having, I remember having a game show back in, in college and getting all the shinies just by default. On, Who on, knows? On gold, silver. Who knows? We could straight up uh, get to Cerulean by tonight. We could. I mean, I'm not really <laughs> tired at the moment. We've we've been going for an hour and a half, but I'm not I'm not super tired. Um, I, I I want to at least like try to work on some of this stuff and maybe do multiple streams a week if health allows. I'm not pushing my health. Yeah. No, rest your voice as much as you need to. This mm -hmm. is your. This is a time when lung health is super important because oh, yeah. not being death able to virus. breathe is is a big detriment. <laughs> yeah, you yeah not it's also a huge like warning sign. Breathing? I kind of like it. I kind of like doing it a lot. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> uh, okay. No. No. Wait. Somebody copyrighted air. I have to pay up. Oh God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> damn you! Damn you! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I almost have everything level eleven. Thunder Chub's gonna be useless in this portion, though. Uh, well, no, actually, Zubats. Oh, okay. Never mind. But all the Rock type Pokemon. It's gonna be it's gonna be all Thunder Chub or all Lincarsar, and that's it. Mm -hmm. a Squirtle would be useful, but you know, uh, we don't I mean, have Bulbasaur, him. Bulbasaur, in... Bulbasaur is equally as useful. Mm -hmm. Squirtle was MVP during both caves uh, when we did our previous stream that did not happen um yep. for those who don't know we did kind of a, a partial stream of pokemon yellow it got invaded by trolls we're not we're redoing this um yes. so just so you know and i put it to a vote i put either pokemon red or pokemon blue uh and two others and people picked red so you know i, I really hope we're just we're not gonna be playing all of blue you know because it's gonna be the same game. 
was different Pokemon. We're getting the 100%, remember? I'm, I'm just saying we could get the Pokemon we need from Blue. We don't need to play all of Blue. Well, yeah, we're but not... Yeah, gonna... but you're in a... You're in a Zenith stream, and that means we're not going to 100% Gen 1, we're going to 300% Gen 1. I'm yeah. not the one try begging for some form of sanity. Okay, you remember, Demo you remembers. You know that sanity is not allowed on a Zen stream. I know, sanity I'm is not. I'm but like, trying. Okay, okay, remember, okay, back in the Kingdom Hearts 1 stream, how many time, how many, um, individual streams it took for RNG bullshit? I think it was like five I, or six. I, I guess I'm just, I'm thinking of how long it's gonna take for us to get to Gen 2. Okay, look something, uh, oh wait, ooh, check the car. Yo! Hey. I was just gonna ask if there was something cool in this grass and I'm like, eh. Yeah, that's the one thing that's new. It's Spiro and Jigglypuff, that's it. All right, tackle. Don't die, don't die, don't die. <gasps> you, oh my goodness. I, I got lucky. Game over. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. Fucking Game Reno. over, man. Game over, man. Game over. If she pops down, I swear to I God. I got really oh. lucky uh, with this I'm first try. Over. Okay. Uh, I have a name. All Jiggly right. Bits. Jiggly Bits. Jiggle, jiggle. Jigglypuff, the balloon Pokemon. When its huge eyes light up, it sings a mysteriously soothing melody that lulls its enemies to sleep. And draws on your face like a bitch. Yep. Do you want to give a nickname to Jigglypuff? A... Yes. What do we want to give? What What do we want to give? Hmm. Jiggly bits. <laughs> Let's go with Jiggly bits. <laughs> Fine. Jiggly bits. I, I like it. <laughs> jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Jiggly bits. Jiggly bits. Oh my god, bits. it fits perfectly. It, it does fit perfectly, but I can't use any spaces. Why would you want to? Yeah, why would you use... It's one word, jiggly bits. No. Okay, I see what you're saying. Oh, I get what I need to do. Okay. You have to find... For, you have to find a dress for Cloud. Jiggly bits was transferred to someone's PC. Whose PC? I don't know. <laughs> yes, yeah, someone's. Okay, let's see. Pokedex. Um, I own 10. I've seen 18. Damn. Um, let's see. Because, like, this is why blue is necessary uh, and yellow, because we need Squirtle and Charmander. Um, unless you want to just do yellow to get the remaining Pokemon. That's... That, I'm just saying we do blue... We do blue to get the remaining Pokemon. We don't even need to do yellow at all. Well, we could do yellow just because it's a different campaign. It's different. That's fair. We do not need to do blue, though. Hmm. Well, Outside of getting the remaining Pokemon. I'll because... put it to a vote. Okay. All right. You hear the sadness. Caterpie I don't even know what the sadness does. Weedle, Kakuna, Pidgey. Rosen, I feel what you're doing, and I appreciate it. Somebody has to. <laughs> Some... And Lewis is not here, so I will fall on that sword. It has to do what? Be be the sense maker. <sighs> there has to be a controlling voice of reason to uh, uh, restrain your your completionist id. I have OCD, okay, and I know, and I can't I, I can't to... work on it because I don't have meds, and there's. <laughs> That's fair, but I am trying to provide solutions for the sake of the audience. Anyway, um... I mean, unless uh, you wanted to use, like, speedrun strats, because you could burn through blue and, like, even with minimal knowledge of them, in, like, five hours. Yeah, I mean, if blue's the same game, we could just do it to get the, the Pokédex and then go from there uh, That's what I'm saying. to yellow. Like, yeah. Blue is the one thing we do not need to do. Yellow, I get why you would want to redo it. Um, anyway. Is there anything new in this grass aside from the jiggly, jiggly buff? Let me look. The Spiro, and that was it, according to last check. Thank you. Eek, did you touch me? I'm not even close to you. You're directly adjacent. <laughs> I'm parallel to you. I'm not touching you. I'm not okay, touching you. Okay, in Gen 1, there's... Uh, and this is Route 103, right? Nope, this is Route 104. I'm looking for Route 104. Or Route 4, rather. I keep saying... No, 
this is Route 3. What am I talking about? So in the grass here, or in the grass in Route 1 in 3, there is uh, Pidgey, Spiro, and Jigglypuff. So no, that, nothing got new. Here. Yeah. Stop pounding me. Just, just pounding it. Just pounding it. Just pounding it. Pounding it. Yep. Yeah, that's all the new Pokemon until Mount Moon. Pounding it. All right, Nidonius, you can do this. Jigglypuff is so much fun in Smash Brothers and so kind of useless in Pokemon. Aside from yeah. putting people to sleep, like it has Pound, which is decent, um, but like the rest, of, like Disable's not a useful u move. Yeah, I've never found use for it. Like I get, I, I, I get the idea, but the thing is, you still have three other moves that they can work, and it, it, its accuracy is bad. I just don't find any use in non-attacking items. Mm. Or, uh, moves, I mean. Uh, I can't speak for Gen 1 because it's been ages, but in Sword and Shield, I found a great use for um, light screen and reflect. Is I it, can see that. Is there it's, it's, a it's, Poke Center here? Yeah, it's towards. It's near the near Mount Moon. It's where you buy the Jigglypuff. Or not, where you buy the Magikarp, rather. Magikarp, carp, carp, carp. Um, is he a trainer? Please... Okay, no. no he's, probably. He's just a dude. Oh, he's Ooh. not. I better take a rest. I think that was Strong. the last trainer. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Route so, yeah, 3, Mount just, Moon just ahead. Alright, and there's nothing unique in that grass area. Um, So let's... Oh, hello. Ouch, I tripped over a rocky Pokemon. Geo, dude. Do you want to just straight up buy the Magikarp? Yes. Yeah. Then uh, put someone in the, in the box for a bit. Okay, hold on. Let me heal my Pokemon. This game did not yet think of, hey, what if when people want to catch a Pokemon, or when people want to buy a Pokemon, they just can send it straight to the box. No, you need to have an empty spot. This is bullshit. It is. Okay, deposit someone's PC. Who's going in the box? For like two seconds. Uh, Remy can go in the box. Oh god, I forgot. They don't have the move Pokemon feature yet. Was it Gen 3 that that comes in? Oh, I have no idea. Team Rocket attacks Cerulean citizens. Team Rocket is always in the news. Their ratings are superior. I have six so Pokeballs in my belt, and most you can carry six Pokemon. Okay. You're going to want to talk to the bald guy. He sells an adventure card. If you have too many Pokemon, you should store them via PC. Which is a hint for this bald guy. Hi, bald guy. Bald. Are you Xehanort? <laughs> Hello there. Have I got a deal just for you? Would you like to become Xehanort too? <laughs> I'll let you have a swell Magikarp for just $500. What do you say? Eh, why not? And then you try it to become a Gyarados and it comes back and eats him. All right, do what? Do you get to name this Magikarp? Yes, we it... do. Okay, hang on a sec. Can you? Will you give me like a moment to work on something? Go right ahead. Go right ahead. I, we have time. I'm not rushed for time. Um, unlike Linkara's streams, I can go over two hours. Yeah. <laughs> no, he he like he only goes over two hours. Um, if it's like a Jackbox stream or if he has time to take breaks, because it is a lot. I get it. Did you go, did you, did you Sorry, I thought it was like a jab at him or something. <laughs> no, Lewis is a good friend. Okay. Lewis is a good buddy. I must say he's nuts. <laughs> I liked your joke, so I came up with a name for your magic card. Ooh. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. I just need to do something. Gixam Prack. Uh, it, That's magic card back, backwards. It's, no, it's not. It's, no, it's not. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll spell it, it for me. Here, I sent it via Discord DM. Alright. It's gonna cause me to pause a thing. Gixam Prack. Oh, I get it. He's a member of Organization 13. I liked your joke. Uh, well, obviously, I don't get because I've never played Kingdom Hearts. Okay, well, welcome to. This is Organization 13 with Gixam Prack. Yes. Alright, so. G. You used the name generator, didn't you? No, I just wrote it out in a notepad and then anagrammed it. Oh, good. I used the, the name generator. It's weird. Gix I had Sam no Prack. idea there was one. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. 
Oh no, I, I need to make the X big. Because the X is the most important part. Yep. With the sigil. There we go. There we go. Gix and Prack. <laughs> I like it. You two can Happy become Xehanort. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're getting in the box, uh, Gix and Prack. You're, you're, you've been benched. Deposit. Gix and Prack. I'm back. Withdraw. Welcome. I'm back. Kay. So why the name? Uh, because it's an anagram of... Uh, you've played Kingdom Hearts, right? Yes. Oh, is it a nobody name? Okay. Yeah, it's a nobody name. Uh, let's see. Jigglybits, Butterbuns, Bees, my God, Killer Queen, Remy is what we're getting. So that, would that be Maginort or Nordicarp? Nor Nordicarp? Nordicarp. I like Nordicarp. Yeah, I like Nordicarp. Okay, we got Rain back. I like Nordicarp. I like, Nordicarp. I like it with chips. <laughs> uh, actually, how many do I have in this box? I need to keep track of this crap. Um... I need to go back to the Kingdom Hearts series, but like... It's a lot. Man, Birth by Sleep is... I hear it's really good, but it's just not... Birth by what? Sleep is good, but the thing is, uh, I got a deposit to pick one up and see how many are in the box. Damn it. Anyway. Uh, one, two, three, four, five... Okay, so there's just five. We can hold 20 Pokemon, right? 30. 30, okay. Per box? Yep, I think that's always how it's been. Hey, Raichu, nice to see you on the stream. Uh, you're just in time. We have just, uh, we've we've norded a Magikarp. Uh, Birth by Sleep is the Star Wars of the Kingdom Hearts series. I wouldn't recommend starting there, though. It's like, it, it helps if you know, like, the rest of the series uh, up until that point. Uh, the problem is... The problem is Chain of Memories is a slog. I got through both stories in Chain of Memories, and I just, I think I would, must have just gotten burned out after doing that, and then Kingdom Hearts 2. Kingdom Hearts 2 is great. It's just, you Kingdom know. Kingdom Hearts 2 was awesome. I really enjoyed it. The Kingdom Hearts 2 is a lot I of fun. I hated it the first time I played it, but I <laughs> loved it the, the more recent. Okay. Played. Is there anything else we need to do here? Just heal up? Uh, you rested, and you got a Magikarp, and... So it also has a teenager complaint about sand. Yep. <laughs> uh, well, it, Terra is basically uh, is is basically Anakin. Terrican. Yeah. It, 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 the thing is, Leonard Nimoy plays Master Xehanort, and uh, Mark Hamill plays Master Ericus. So it's Star Wars versus Star Trek. <laughs> yep. Alright, anyway. Um, what was I saying beforehand? I completely lost track. Uh yeah. I mean how from the part uh, how many paragraphs back do you want to go? Because like when I joined the stream, you were talking <laughs> about Demon Souls. Yeah, now we're talking about I... Birth by Sleep, and Birth by Sleep is a good game. Um I just wouldn't start there. But if you've played uh the other two, like if you've played Kingdom Hearts one, Chain of Memories, and two, then I would highly recommend it. It has the best uh, individual gameplay of uh, the early parts of the series. Um, it, like, the command deck system's revolutionary. I love it. Hey, look at that, Azubat. Oh, oh, look, Azubat. Let's catch it. Never seen one of those before. In this game. You'll never be able to say that again. <laughs> uh, the one debate I have in my mind is which uh, Kingdom Hearts is the worst title in the series? Um, Chain of Memories. It's just dull. Like, Dream Drop Distance is close, but there are things I like about that that elevates it. Um, did you actually play Chain of Memories, or did you play Re-Chain of Memories? Re, because okay. I, I have not... Um, I tried playing it on my Game Boy, and my Game Boy Advance is dying, and I was having trouble with the, the, the screen, I tried to play it on my Game Boy Player on GameCube, and that didn't work. So, really? I, yeah, it I, it was a 
something I bought off eBay, so it, it's oh. possible that it just could not work, but it just, it, it completely said, fuck you, and both times the game just stopped <laughs> right when I started. So I'm just like, you know what, I'll just play you RE. One more time. Yeah. I'm just going to play one more time. Uh, for the DS ones, uh, I think Coded might be the worst because it's a waste of time, but I haven't played it, so I can't say that. I've I've witnessed the story of Coded, and the story of Coded is a recap of the entire series with five seconds of actually new stuff, and <laughs> it's so annoying. Three five eight over two days. I like. It is a slog at times, but I think it has the best story in the series. Was three five eight over two the one that was a movie in the? Uh... Yep. Oh, crap. Okay. You should have used Tackle. The problem is he kept leeching my life. Yeah, Tackle would have done it. All right, let me switch Pokemon. It would have been less effective. You don't have to get them into red health, you know, right? Yeah, but yellow health wasn't working. Oh, fair. Uh, let's see. Switch out Nidonius with Thunderchub. Thunderchub, because, yeah. All right, I'm going to pick up this item. What is it? TM12. That, I believe, is Water Gun. Item TM12. Water gun. Called it. Can anyone learn it? Remy? R Rattata can learn water gun? Yeah, wouldn't though. Do not do that. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'll save it, but um, what is Team 34? TM Bide. Bide. Eh, it's no. It's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Um, both the DS games were just recap movies in HD. The game with Tron 2 is Dream Drop Distance. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna say it this way. I think Dream Drop Distance is a good game. Partially, it is a good game if you're just trying to get through the story. Um, but if you're trying to complete it, it is a slog. It, it's one of those games where I like it. I like the ideas in it. I love the flow motion. I like the story itself. But there's so much that holds it back, and I think that's probably one of the weakest in the uh, series, just because I, most of the games in the series I want to complete and want to play, but not Dream Drop Distance, and it's been taking me forever. Okay. Um, I will say, since you were talking about uh, Rechain of Memories, um, I did not very much like Rechain of Memories. Yeah. Mainly because it reused all of the music and uh, visual assets from Kingdom Hearts 1. And it's like, I just beat this game. Oh my god, now I'm being immersed with the same music. And it's it doesn't fit nearly as well. It's it's also for it. it's also numbing. And if you've played the original games, like the worlds are empty. Yeah. Like at least in they had an excuse in the Game Boy version, but in in the in the this version no. Like there's just there's a lot go. I like individually the stories, but yeah. but, but when you take the Disney World stories, they don't mean anything. Ari Chain of Memories is is a slug to complete. It's a slug to get through, and it's it's it feels like a rehash. It's a recap uh, of of the previous game. And yeah, we don't have Tarzan because they lost the rights. Um, we will get a, Pori a Porygon, right, you? Uh, suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Well, I'm a woman. Sure. <laughs> and we're in the cave, so. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I, I'm, a, well, actually, there's no genders in this, in this. Yep. <laughs> the, 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 right. There's, there's no genders in this, uh. Oh, God. Gen okay, 1 after, is. After this wheel, you're going to want to switch into, uh, Spiro. Okay. I just want to level up Thunderchub. Yeah, I'm just taking. I'm just talking types. What type of what Can type? You have, like are... a full on map for for the entire game. I I like, planned out. We've Maybe? we've played it recently, so I I know the map of part of it. It's like when it comes to this area, I know where I'm going. Yeah. Oh no, I meant like Rosen seems to be like on point. But no, I just know types. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Suspicion. I thought you like, knew what the the trainer's next Pokemon was going to be. Well, no, it was a bug catcher, so. Yeah, yeah bug so. catcher. So we let's. We have bugs, and we only have one Pokemon that's good against bugs, and that's Rockhawk. Uh huh. 
Lord Helix oh. or Democracy? Democracy! A, praise that was, Dome! That's what double W's. That's from Thousand Year Door. <laughs> right? What, what's from uh, Thousand Year Dolt? Rockhawk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I believe you named that one, Rosen. Uh, so I got another, I got, like, a bunch of lists of anime to talk about. Oh, yeah, that that's, that's the other reason why we actually have to complete, uh, Blue, partially, because we have to get the other fossil. Right, well, we, like, again, we just need to get all the, we don't have to complete the game, we just have to get all the Pokemon that we needed. Yeah, and trade it over, because there, there is a virtual link cable, but yeah. And even if that doesn't work... I could just do that if you want. <laughs> Rosen, you're going against the spirit of the stream. <laughs> Democracy, all the way. <laughs> anyway, oh, actually, wait, you can't tra you can't transfer items in this game. So yeah, I cannot help. Yeah, unless you had an emulator, an emulated version. Like, there's a virtual link cable, but no, I mean, you can't transfer items. Like, you can't transfer the dome or helix fossil in the game. Oh, fuck, we're gonna have to play all three games. That's too bad. <laughs> Start of Gen 1! Gen 1 Defense Squad, you can suck my big fat... My big fat ass. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so I got, I got, like, again, big list of anime here. here. Here's a concept for you. This anime is called Kakushi Goto, and it's about Kakushi Goto, who is a manga artist but hides it from his daughter because uh, he draws like basically comedy etchy manga. So, Food Wars. Is it Food Wars? <laughs> oh yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Thank you. More like uh, Damn it. sex comedy. <laughs> Thunderchub's too powerful. <laughs> and he, he, he has this extreme uh, layered lie set up. He's got a whole office of people uh, that are told to act a certain way. He's uh, he goes to a suit even and changes into it later, even though he prefers to work naked at home. But the whole the perspective is told in flashback from the daughter finding her dad's old shit. So, so it's Aromanga Sensei. But good, apparently. I've heard it's really good. Oh, really? Because that premise does not sound appealing. Well. I, I'm clearly I, I'm I'm relishing a bit. Like, I could just read the actual premise. I don't know why I didn't do that. Here, the story follows a lonely mangaka Kakushi Goto who draws vulgar manga. The twist? Well, he has to hide the fact that this is his work, so his young daughter Hime isn't exposed to his, its mature content. This Zubat slice of life comedy caught. will explore the relationship between father and daughter and the plight of an adult manga creator. Zubat, the bad Pokemon, forms oh, it's a slice of life. Forms okay. colonies in perpetually dark places, uses ultrasonic waves to identify and approach targets. Warning for Gen 4, beware for fogs and cliffs. Oh god, that's the that's oh, an HM god. game. I hate it. Do you want to give a nickname to Zubat? Yes. Uh start thinking of names for Zubat. Zubat. Zubtube. <laughs> <laughs> that that may be. Zubies. Z no, um, no, no, we gotta call it Zaxby's. That's good, yeah. Zach's piece, because it doesn't exist. I'm only going to voice up for, for Pokemon names uh, if I have inspiration. Yeah. With Miss one Steve. exception. You force you to have two J HM slaves. Yes, welcome to Zach's piece. <laughs> um, is it? Oh, hello, Hime. Come oh. here. Anybody like wacky races? Oh, wacky racers? Yeah, wacky racers, yeah. Hello, oh Hime. Oh my god, that is a flashback. I remember liking it when I was a kid. There's an anime that's apparently just a 19th century steampunk wacky racers across America. Say hello to Hime. Where's the kitty? Hmm. Uh, what anime is that? Because I want to know and it's watch it. It's called Opera Ranman. Apare Ranman. Okay. Yeah. A-P-P-A-R-A dash R-A-N. Bye, Hime. The story is set in the end of the 19th century on the eve of the next one. <laughs> Some... After a certain... <laughs> Somewhere GSR is crying and he doesn't know why. Hmm? Because uh, the the running joke is that uh, 
J- game show reviewer loves Zaxby's, uh, and yes. and we 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 joke that it doesn't exist because it's not around here. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, hey. After after a certain mishap, the brilliant but socially inept engineer uh, Sonoro uh, Sorono Apare, family name first, in and the shrewd but cowardly samurai Ishiki Cosme find themselves drifting on a boat from Japan to America. Broke, the two decide to compete in the Trans-America Wild Race to win the prize and return to Japan. Zach's piece battles- was transferred to somebody's PC. There you go. <laughs> so we have we delivery. It. We, it's not delivery, it's Zach's piece. Yeah. But oh, it's a battle- Zubat. The two battle crazy rivals, outlaws, and the great outdoors itself as they f- race through the Wild West from, from the starting line in Los Angeles to the finish line in New York in the steam-powered car they built. That sounds from, incredible. That sounds the, stupid as hell in the best possible way. The opening <laughs> has among it samurai battles and steam powered segway chases. Or segway fights, excuse me. Steam powered giraffe? Maybe. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, from what I've heard, considering Stone Ocean has yet to be even announced to getting an anime, and you know, we're kind of all in the apocalypse right now, uh, this could be the closest we get to a steel ball run anime. GSR is lying, Zaxby's is bland or more boring KFC. I I, I will be the judge of that when I have it. Uh, Cause here's the thing. My favorite my favorite chicken is um uh god, where is it from? Um I I mean I unfortunately really do love uh Chick-fil-A. Ah I hate I, it, it's it, not it, good. It's it, just it, not good. It's good, but it's it's bad for my soul. <laughs> um, but but the best is um, uh, what's that Filipino chain? Um, uh, oh, Jollibee. Yeah, Jollibee. Jollibee is is the best. Like it's the best meals you'll ever have. Their apple pie is superb. They have spaghetti. They give you spaghetti and hot dogs and chicken, and is the best thing ever. I want to go one. I have one, yeah. never seen or heard of Jollibee except for a. Childish Gambino song, um, a recent uh, uh, like TikTok meme, and now this. I feel like I got Mandela affected. Like <laughs> I, I've seen them. It, it's very much a Hispanic and Asian community thing. And growing up in LA, I saw them and I never went to them. There are a lot in New York. Like um, we drove to New York because my um, my best friend is Filipino. His name's Isaiah, and he. He loves Jollibee. He, we went on an excursion to New York, and he sh- he showed me it, and it's like I can't go back. I, I can't go back. Jolli- Jollibee's so good. Like it's not fast food. It is legitimately good food. <laughs> Filipino it favorite. Is. It's so good. It's, um, this has been your commercial for Jollibee's. This the stream is not sponsored by Jollibee's. It could be. I mean, technically, technically, it's sponsored by Dr. Pepper, but don't tell Lewis because he doesn't like Dr. Pepper. He tell now Garrett. Uh, Dr. Pepper is like uh, tastes like cough mixture. Yeah. Dr. Pepper's delicious, and if you don't like cough uh, medicine flavored beverages, no, 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 never no, no, drink no, Moxie. Yeah, because Moxie is make just... mine Moxie. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Good Pepper Lord. tastes like that cherry. I love Moxie. It's all you have to just have as a kid. Ugh, just, yeah. By the way, I mentioned the Digimon season. This is the poster. This is what the style they're going for. I put it in the stream chat. All right, checking it now. Ooh, yes, yes, it's very good. Apparently, they busted out Omnimon in the second episode. Uh, what? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. Okay. I was walking by you last, but the rules of Pokemon do apply. Hello, Hime. Are you going to lick my feetsies? Lots of second seasons going on right now. Now the show's on hiatus. Well, everything's on hiatus. The country's on yeah. hiatus. One Piece is on hiatus. Oh, God. Clefairy. Clefairy's much better than Jigglypuff. Damn it. I'm asleep. Okay. Switching to Thunderchuck. Like Clefable is only slightly off-putting, whereas Wigglytuff in... This game? Oof. Oh boy, you nightmarish. Yep. See, another reason I wanted to go back to these to the original red 
You have Thunder Chub. Because he's a chubby chew. He's not skinny chew. He, he they doesn't. Bring back... They need to bring back Thunder Chub. They yeah, did. They, do. they did. Oh, they In did? Sword and Shield. Yeah. Oh, I have to wait all that time, unfortunately. His Gigantamax form is Chubby Pikachu. <laughs> if you've played Let's Go Pikachu. Welcome to the apocalypse, Mr. Squidward. Uh, addendum. You don't even have to really have played it. You just have to have launched yeah, it, just, I think. On you just your need save Switch. data. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, Perry, stop pounding it. <laughs> I tried to play one of the Let's Go games. I tried to play both of them because uh, I, I had the opportunity. And I was just like, this is not for me at all. What's that? The Dynamax for Pikachu is Thunder Chub. Ah, uh, yes. Dynamax uh, Pikachu that's what Thunder Chub. <laughs> By the way, guys, that's my roommate, Seraph. Uh, hey. hey. She says hi. Uh, stop pounding my thunder chub. Um, that sounds so <laughs> filthy. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Okay, sorry. All right. Alrighty. Clefairy, you need to stop pounding my chub. Defeated Lass. I lost. Oh my god. If you're completing the decks, that means you have to level up and evolve. Everyone. Well, I mean, you don't have to evolve everyone. You can catch advanced points. I will be amazed if we if we are move on to Gen 2 by this time in 2021. We'll, we'll get to it. It's not that hard. Fair enough. I, I, we managed to get to... Kingdom Hearts 2 in our lifetime. So. Uh, we're gonna do the Mew glitch, uh, but I need Lewis for that. Um, yeah. We, we, I do need Lewis to tell me how to do that, and um, but that's if he's available, and so, yeah. Thank you, your Pokemon Freddy fit, blah blah. The, the one where you can duplicate a Mew. Like, actually catch it. All right, so, um, I'm going to put Linkarasar in first. I'm going to level him up one more level, and then I'm going to level match everyone else. So I think you evolved in two levels, I think? Which means, uh, get those, uh, get those pictures ready for me, please. There's one in Cerulean, and there's one in Lavender. Uh, we may get to Cerulean in this time. Ooh, a Paris. <gasps> yes! Yes! Catch Do it. not kill this thing. One tackle. This is my favorite enough. Pokemon from Gen 1. Switch into... No! That would kill it. And you did it. Oh, God, God Pigeon works. God Pigeon works. Yeah, it should justice. be a flying type move, but it's not. It's but not it's until not. Gen 2. I think you can get away with another gust. Yeah. Alright, if you say so. Fun yeah. fact, these, these things are based on the same type of parasite that uh, the clickers are in The Last of Us. Ooh. Cordyceps. Paris yep. almost had a baby form in Gen 2. Oh. Yeah, it did. Uh, looked like a tiny mushroom. A lot of babies were cut. In uh, Gen 2. Mm -hmm. Yay, we got it. Paris was caught. All right, what is the nickname? Um, if you're unwilling to name it the best in all caps, which is the correct name. The best of you. The best of you. The best. <laughs> um, Paris, mushroom Pokemon, burrows to suck tree roots. The mushrooms on its back grow by drawing nutrients from the bug host. Okay. Do you want to give a nickname to Paris? I'm not going to give it. I'm not going to put the best. Um, All right. Then may I recommend Aries, like the Zodiac sign? Oh, I, I get I get what you're doing there. I am the, I'm the bug of war. Yeah. Also, uh, no, it's uh, IES. Oh, oh, you're going to fit a god. I got you. 
I'm, I'll accept that. Okay. I mean, there, there's different spellings, but... A parasail <laughs> Uh, I'm so happy. Thank you for catching the Paris. If we catch another Paris, I'll name it Paris Hilton. But, you know, I, I wanted to oh, let him funny. name one. <laughs> All right. We're going to need to go down that ladder, but there's stuff down south. Can't stop here. It's backcountry. And is downstairs where we catch ourselves a Clefairy? Yes. Yep. Yes. What? Don't sneak up on me. You snuck up on me. Uh, yeah, there's enough for Paris Hilton, I believe. No, that's 11 letters. It's 10 letters well, of the you, max. What you, do, what you do is you, you, you do P-A-R-S. Press. Pras Hilton. Pras Hilton. Pras was already a... Or we take out the I. That's Paris. That's Paris. No, Paris. Paris. H-L-T-O-N. Holton. <laughs> she Holton. For, she forgot how to spell her name. Super Powerful. nerd wants to fight. I don't like the super nerds in this game. They're like so creepy. They're so <laughs> creepy. I, I mean, it should make all of us feel better though, because we're not nearly this good. Oh. Yes, we're speak gonna name for yourself. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I am speaking for myself. How am I doing this voice? I was voice extending the grace the the grace to all of you. Oh hi, Magnemite. Uh, and yes, we're gonna name Ekans Cobra. Fantastic. I didn't know you were a machinist. You'd probably catch Magnemites there, too, then. I would catch a lot of Magnemites and Magnetons. Which is creepier, the Super Nerd or the Pokemaniac? Pokemaniac. A super Nerd. He's a Pokemaniac. Oh, no, it's a Douchey McNitpick. And she's poking like she's never bugged before. <laughs> Welcome to Pokemon Tournament. Ha, huh, you've been seeded, buddy. I love Leech Seed. It's one of my favorite moves. Was Unknown playable in Pock? I never played it. In, uh, in which? Pock in Tournament? Unknown? Like the, the alphabet? Pokemon? Oh, in Pokken? No. Oh, no, the, the Pokemaniac flashes us in his cloak. That would be an I interesting uh, game mechanic. Wouldn't it be? Well, I imagine you wouldn't fight as a single unknown. You'd fight as a massive swarm. It's like a horde, like kind of like charade from War from Soul Calibur Two. Yeah. Voltorb looks very low res. I think it's the coloring on it. Probably. I I really want a two D JoJo fighting game, but Eyes of Heaven barely uh, barely matches people's fighting styles as it is. I don't know how a two D fighting game would. I hate three D fighting games. <laughs> Oh, do you? Like, 3D anime arena fighters? I, I hate the, that gameplay style. I much prefer um, what Dragon Ball uh, Fighters did. I, I'm sorry I was about okay your with ears. the Naruto Shippenden series. Shippenden was good. I can understand why, why you wouldn't like them, but, like, they have that native Homan effect uh, that made, like, closing uh, the gap and using projectiles kind of work pretty well. Like, well yeah. enough, at least. Yeah. By the I, way, I'm sorry about Screech. It hurts everyone's ears. I yeah. cannot turn it off. Thanks, Gen 1. I, I just wish... I, I wish Arxis would do a JoJo fighting game because they'd make so much money. There was a recent fighting game that I have no idea how people enjoy because it is... Like, I don't want to say repulsive because that's offensive, but like... Yeah. I literally feel repulsed from it, like I'm like like magnetic polarity wise. Mm -hmm. Um and that was jump force. Because that art style was oh, everyone worse hated the art than style. Uncanny Valley. What's that? Yeah. Like it, it was a humongous disaster in terms of, of reception by people. Jace oh. versus was better than Jump Force. It's so well versus is fine. Yeah. Jump isn't Jump Force coming to Switch soon, I think. Yeah it is. Like, it sold well, but everyone hated the art style. By the way, I'm it's... sorry about your eyes with the background. <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's nauseating. Uh, it's it's hurting yeah, my it's eyes. Art, no, it's not as bad as in right? Cinnabar, but... Uh... Hello, Geo. Oh, wild Geo, dude. Do we have uh, any of No. I think we do I need not. To... 
I think I need a team. Let, let's out. catch the uh, giant head with a uh, with a questionable hairstyle. Uh, are you heading out? Yeah, I think I'm gonna head. I'm gonna have a lie down. All right, well, well take, take it easy, Nick. Yeah, well, half my state's in lockdown, so yeah, <laughs> I'm on an island. I am really screwed. <laughs> surprisingly, surprisingly, tackle is not effective on a rock. <laughs> I'm just trying to weaken it. Which kind of makes tackle ideal, but oh my god, no, not those tackles. <laughs> it was a big rock. Yeah, like they say, oh, yeah, uh, normal's weak to rock, or normal, not weak to rock, normal only does half damage to rock. It doesn't, it doesn't fucking translate. What are you doing? <laughs> Switching to rock hawk. Uh, Why? What 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 is your what is your damage? Birds get killed by rocks. Yeah, I'm not trying to kill it though. That's the point. I know, but <laughs> Rock Hawk's gonna faint very soon if it knows rock throw and if it, it doesn't. It's a Geo dude it knows tackle and it the right, thing. Geo dude learns rock throw really really soon. Uh, and yellow looks like you're walking through poo. It's darker brown and slightly brown in every game. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna peck the rock. It's. It's well, a good thing. Uh, Geodude doesn't know uh, Rock Throw until level 13. Okay. Then you're fine. It's still not going to do much, but you're fine. That's Maybe the point. You're no, okay. That's the point. Also, wow, that tackle did a lot of damage from Geodude. Rock yeah. going to get knocked out. That's what I'm saying. Nope. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to catch it. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea at this point. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he learns uh, self-destruct this early on. I hope not. God, no, no, it's no, like 22. No, definitely not. All right, Geodude Yay. was caught. Start thinking of uh, nicknames for Geodude guys, and I will take the audience suggestion this time. New Pokédex. Geodude, the rock Pokémon. Found in fields and mountains, mistaking them for boulders, people often step or trip on them. Rad Roy. Geolude. <laughs> Geolude. I'm gonna I'm wait sorry. to see. I'm gonna wait to see what they put to come up with, that. but but Geolude, Geolude is actually really good. Uh, if you could beat that, uh, let me I know. Can't. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm asking the chat. Salty. Hmm. Let's see. Anyone else? Geo lube. No, geo lube is better. Boulders. Boulders. I'm going with Geolude, sorry guys. It's it's too good. This is why I'm I miss sorry, but also you're welcome. This is why I miss having uh you on my streams because you're very, very good at uh the jokes. <laughs> Thank you. I try. Geolude. transferred to someone's PC, so the loot is going into the computer. <laughs> That's where it belongs. <laughs> loot. <laughs> I love that. Uh, escape rope, I'm using it. Because... Because everyone's almost... Oh, no, you have half a party left, but, I mean... Half my team is wrecked, and... Yeah. I, I would much rather play it You're safe. Your Bulbasaur one-hit kill everything in the cave, and... Your Pikachu will one-hit die from everything in the cave. <laughs> that wasn't a rope. That was a a magic. <laughs> yeah, all ropes are magic. This is a video game. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. I will say the first time they make an escape rope a reusable item. You never need it. Right? <laughs> I know, right? 
Nidoran's a far cry from learning double I mean, you only need it for like half crit. this game anyway, because Diglett is, or Doug Trio is busted good against like 90% yeah. like of the Pokemon. Yeah. Well, once we get the Psychic type, like, once we get an Abra, done. A yeah, Abra but then you have to keep Teleport. I do have to keep Teleport. Because we have a reusable escape rope, the move dig. Yep. I never know we could use that outside of battle. Persian yeah. is broken. But dig is good. Fly is a good move, too. Like, there, Gen 1 has some pretty good moves. It also has flash. We don't talk about that move. <laughs> but that, that, that was the past. <laughs> Gen 1. All right. Rat, I want you to take down this bat. When does Rattata evolve? Is it level 23? It's very, very, um, like, it evolves at high levels in the early 20. games. Oh, 28? Wait, which, uh, which Pokemon? Rattata? Oh, Rattata, 20. 20. Oh, just 20, okay. Okay, that's not bad. Because once it, once it evolves, I will switch it out. Yep. I mean, that means we're going to have to bring another one up to speed, but, like, at least we'll have the entries. Um, it has Barry I mean, Allen. For the, <laughs> it's really the question of, of what is the what is the best content for the stream? Is it completing the decks, or is it seeing every Pokemon get used? Mm. What do you, the people at home, think? Because, <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure the XP share is in this game. Kind of, but apparently it's not good. I, f I forget, but I remember Rosen saying it was bad. Which what? Uh, EXP share. share. In this game, it is an experience all, so it splits it six ways. Yeah, that's a problem. It takes forever and it's basically useless. Yeah. EXP share, on the other hand, is a useful thing. Yes. All right, Rat, you, you're carrying this team. All right. You know what? I should have I should have named Rami Ozzy Osbourne because he's biting the heads off bats. <laughs> yeah, did Gen he one. actually do that, or is that just a rumor? Or he actually did that. Wow. Cruel. One time on stage. Um, and Gen 1, Ghost has only one move in its neutral Nightshade. The th the thing is, Ghost type should have been much more powerful than it is. Yep. Because it, like, physical attacks don't harm it. The problem is, what is a physical attack is very, very weird in this game. Gen 1 is a mess. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Remy grew to level 12. We're going to switch you out and continue. I'm actually kind of happy to be vicariously playing along with you here because I went back and tried to play Crystal a little while ago, and I was like, oh my god, I have thoroughly aged out of being able to play Game Boy era RPGs. Yeah, it's 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 hard sometimes, but I like playing this on stream. It's good. Oh, I, I met yeah. a wild Pokemon right in front of a trainer. I always love when that happens. Psychic was coded by mistake to be immune. Yep. <laughs> that that gets fixed in Gen 2. By mistake. By mistake. The coding of legends. Thankfully, Gen 2 is a lot less buggy. Gen 2 is, is really, really solid. I think they put a lot more time into it. Oh, I think Hor Gen 2 was just more fun as well. Yeah. The, the day night system, the breeding, uh, like they, they added a lot more to it, and uh, the legendaries are cool. Were the berry trees in Gen 2? Uh, yes, ber yes, berry trees were introduced Apricorn in Gen 2. Were... Oh, hello. Yeah, there were the Apricorns, there was the Red Gyarados. Go through uh, this cave to get to Carillion City, okay. Agatha is a ghost user, yet her team has a snake and a bat. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. She's gothic. She's a goth. Snakes. Bats. 
which actually makes her one of the coolest Pokemon trainers because mm -hmm. she's not just like a monotype. I, I always hate when like, you know, you have a certain type gym, but you can get easily beaten for that type. I like yeah. when you have more of a, a mix. I remember, I don't remember who it was. I was watching who uh, uh, talking about having themed gyms instead of typed gyms. Yeah. And I think that's really cool because you can make a lot of interesting stuff out of a theme and have a, a diverse, like, boss battle out of it. Nidonius, grid to level 12. Uh, Gen 3 brought running shoes. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, guys. I received 100 messages today with the restream chat. Thank you, guys. B uh, Trophy. Yeah. Hell yeah, running shoes. I, I Running shoes are a good idea because the bike's too expensive. Bikes are free. Not according to the bike shop. <laughs> well, yeah, you can't I mean, even have that much you get money. get a voucher, but there's also a way to just steal a bike. I think. <laughs> All right, it's time to make this easy on me. Come on, Rockhawk. Let's see you hard into this peck. I mean, it's gonna. <laughs> it's gonna, but you know, let's see you get hard when you're poked in the dick. And now it's dead. Yep. To use Caterpie, I'm not going to change Pokemon. Super effective. But yeah, Brock, Brock is like a prime example. If you know how to beat Rock type Pokemon, you're done. <laughs> That's it, yeah. <laughs> That's why yellow is so hard, because you have a Pikachu. <laughs> I want a Weedle. As, as uh, Lewis would say, I want a Weedle. I want a Weedle. <laughs> that kid had a hundred bucks on him. That we just swiped. We're not Team Rocket, we're, but we're probably just as bad. Let me check my team right now, though. You're fine. Yeah, I'm gonna switch you with the God Pigeon. And then Linkarasar will be our main for a little bit. Alright, let's check this way. I know we have to go under the ladder for the optional stuff. Um, but I just want to see if there's anything in the upper level. Oh, look, it's a Zubat. I've never seen one of those before. I told you you weren't allowed to say that anymore. <laughs> uh, that's Yen, so it's actually just one dollar. <laughs> Anybody? Oh, that's right, yeah. Anyone else think Kakuna had claws from the Gen 1 sprite? He didn't have claws? No, oh. it's just a cocoon. But it does have those weird... It's a silhouette, yeah. Things. This should be a flying-type move. Why are you not a flying-type? I don't think anybody's in disagreement. Gen 1's a mess. Yeah. Unfortunately, I've been to conventions where they have the Gen 1 Defense Squad. Those people are idiots. They ran a panel, and it was a panel was... right before my panel. What was their premise? I don't know. I didn't see the panel. All I just saw was the name, and I'm just... This was at too many games, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Gen 1 was Buggy the Clown? Buggy the Clown was the character I played in One Piece Band Adventure, and he was super fun. Buggy is super fun to play as. I just don't like his character until, like, later on in the series. Because I know he's supposed to be a, a comedic villain, but it's just, like, they, they build him up to be this big, intimidating force with the buggy balls. And, yes, he has explosive balls. Don't laugh. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and he has a detachable penis. But still, uh... I mean, he was trained on a really good pirate ship, though. He was. When, when they actually get to his backstory and talk more with him, and then, like, the time skip stuff, he gets better. But I don't like the buggy arc, because... Oh, he... or I don't like early One Piece. Like... Yeah. <laughs> 
I, early One Piece is hit or miss. I love Kuro. I love Kuro a lot. Whoa, it's way bigger in here than I thought. Phrasing. Phrasing. I like some parts of Kuro, but I hated early Usopp and the Usopp pirates with little fruit hats and everything. And I was like, oh. Yeah, I mean, that's a little bit much, but also I love the story with Kuro, and, and Kuro in general is a great villain. Kuro's an actual villain. He's an actual bad person with an actual plan. Yes. And I love the uh, the dilemma that Luffy has, because it's not a dilemma of, you're doing something to my friend because we just met this guy. It's more of a, you're treating your people like crap, and I don't like that. And this is the first time in the series that he brings that up. And yeah, it's not as personal as it should be, um, where like later stories get really, like, personal connection to the villains, but mm. Kuro's just a good starter villain. I think that's where One Piece kind of solidifies. A lot of people think um, the Arlong arc is the solidification of One Piece, but I think Kuro is where it really starts to solidify. I feel like Arlong is good, but like the switch between Arlong... Because Kuro follows Arlong immediately, right? Uh, it goes... No, it goes Kuro... Barati, then Arlong. Oh. We don't talk about Don Krieg because he doesn't come back, but I, I, I don't like Don Krieg at all because he's such a bitch. D Don Krieg is just, I have lots of weapons, so I'm better than you. That's his entire yeah, thing. Yeah, but Don Krieg has Pearl. <laughs> and Pearl is, okay, okay, Pearl, Pearl Jam is the best thing. Uh, so I'm gonna head out because uh, I have uh, anime night with group tonight, so I'm, I'll see you later. Alrighty. Have fun. I'll see try and pick up the slack of, of telling you. you what Pokemons are where. Good luck. See we'll you. probably be only like a little bit longer. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm just trying to get at least partially through this cave. I knew we wouldn't get to Cerulean City. He was being a little bit optimistic there. I mean, it depends on how quickly that Clefairy shows up on it. Well, it's not just that, it's just the enemies. There's a lot of people in this cave, but if you walk like five steps, you get assaulted by Pokemon and your half your party goes down. That's why you need a Zubat killer. I mean, Don Creek was there for one reason, to introduce the, one of the Onko and Zoro's rival Mihawk. Actually, two reasons. Introduce Sanji. Sanji was a very good character to introduce. Is your favorite straw hat? My favorite straw hat is oh my god the the bell sprout sprite. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> that that it looks like an alien staring into my soul. Oh, I forgot how narrow its face was. Ah. Oh. Sanji's my favorite straw hat, and it has a lot to do with the the German sixty six stuff. Um, it has a lot to do with. Um, the way he battles. I love his kicks. I love Diable Jumble. I just, I love him to death. And yeah, Zoro is probably a stronger character, and I like Zoro a lot, but I just love Sanji's, like, when he gets his cool moments, when he's allowed to get his cool moments, um, and, and Oda remembers he's not a joke character, uh, he gets some of the coolest scenes. Like, he's just standing there holding his cigarette. He a really good drama. Yeah. Like, I've come around on One Piece. I used to, to poo-poo it a lot because I only really watched it for the um, for the four kids opening, which I unabashedly love. <laughs> Never uh, forget Victory Bell. <laughs> yeah, Victory but, Bell, Bell, Bell Sprout evolves into a form with no hands, and I, I think that's a stupid idea. I am a spawn of Satan. What does growth do? Oh, special uh, attack I believe rose. growth increases special attack. Yeah. Um, is that useful in this gen? I don't think so. I never used it. Um, I'll look it up. All right. I feel bad for who my favorite straw hat is. Chopper? No, Chopper was my favorite. Um, and has been very recently replaced. Okay. Um, down to Let's see. I'm going down here. 
And I know there's Clefairy down here, but I'm not looking for Clefairy. I'm just, like, trying to get the items in this cave. Yeah. Hey, Paris. Hello, Paris. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, okay. Technically, what growth does in Gen 1 is increase the special stat, which is both special attack and special defense. Until they split it, because I remember the whole thing in Gen 2 uh, was the split. Yeah. Come on, Rockhawk. Um, but yeah, like the thing I like in One Piece is just it has great, wonderful moments that get you. Um, so your favorite used to be Chopper. Yes. Hmm. Let's see. Brooke or Frankie? Uh, I think I do like Frankie quite a bit. Brooke uh, is one of my favorites. The problem is we he hasn't been on the crew long enough for me to really appreciate a lot of him. He gets some really great stuff to do, though. Oh, I can I can give you a huge chance. Uh, my favorite's been on the crew for, like, three minutes. Oh, uh, Jimbei? Yeah. Nice. I love Jimbei. Jimbei's great. I love great. him so much. Um, he's another uh, such a beast, but also like he's <laughs> super into etiquette and doing things correctly. We Team Rocket are Pokemon gangsters. Yo, yo, yo! Team Skull's in the house. Uh, team Skull was the best team. Yes, um, the different type of gangsters though. These are the old school mafia. Yeah, with their old school mafia whips. <laughs> Um, another one of my favorites that hasn't joined the crew yet, but totally should, is Carrot. Carrot, yes. Oh, uh, I gotta switch. She should absolutely join the crew. She, her Sue Long form she's a is lookout. so amazing. That's, that's her deal. Like, that's a, that's a pirate ship thing that they don't have yet. They don't have a lookout, but also she's super, super strong. She saved their asses numerous times. Plus, she's adorable. Sue Long is interesting by itself. Yep. Adorbs. In Japan, they are literal Nazis. Ooh. Are they really? Because, I mean, in Giovanni, it's it's the Italian mafia in this, in the yeah. English. I mean, I'm just going to Google our team rocket Nazis. <laughs> that, that's a rabbit hole that I don't... <laughs> Speaking of rabbits, that's a rabbit hole that I don't want Carrot to go down. <laughs> I mean, wow. Okay. Well, it's not that deep a rabbit. There's only, like, three actual Pokemon entries, and the rest is all, like, actual Werner Von Brown stuff and stuff. Ah. Fine whip. But there is a Kotaku article. There's always a Kotaku article. Oh, it's from the anime. Ah, oh. But he's Rattata. I'm not going to change Pokemon, because most of mine are ready to faint. And after this, I need to go back and heal. And I think after this um, little bit of like attacking and healing, I'm gonna set off for the day because I need to eat. Yeah, I need dinner as well for this. It's been a good. But thank you so much for inviting me onto the stream. This was fun. No problem. I'll let you know when we do the next one. We have Please to see. go around my roommate's schedule, but because uh, um, they stream and we both stream with Linkara and. Uh, you know, we, we have to work around it, but this this is this has been a fun stream. There's a limited amount of bandwidth that one can use. I get you. Uh, it's like we we did a pretty good in terms of not dropping frames this time, but like our bandwidth is not as good as Lewis's, and uh, they also want to be able to utilize the rest of the house. Right. <laughs> Like but part I'll stick with you till the end. Alrighty, thank you very much. Of course. As we do as we take down Team Rocket. Why do you have a whip? Like right? who... why do they have a whip? 
Who brings a whip? That's not mafia. <laughs> I blew it. Yeah, you did. You're bad at your job. And you stole three dollars and thirty cents from him. I found HP up. Okay, that's gonna be useful later. Now we gotta get out of here. We gotta get the hell out of here. Do you because... no longer have any more ropes? I don't. I use them all. But look at my team. Oh, you have. Yeah, you're fine. All... In, in so much as getting out of here, you're fine. Yeah, but but I Fun just shovel take out any Zubats and Lakasaurus will take out anything else. Yeah, it's just like they decimated most of my team. Oh yeah. If I if I fight any more trainers, that'll be a different story. But getting out of here now, it won't be a problem. Hi, Geo, dude. Okay, Link Karasar. You just brought out someone who should not have been brought out. Oh no, he was a. I. Oh, Damn it! I. I hey, he soaked a crit for you though, so that was I, an excellent sacrifice. I pressed form. up and it just hit two. I. It's just the the coding of legends. See, did you see that? Like, I didn't I mean totally to leech did. seed. I, the, Looks like you got a double input going on. Let's see. No, it's just... It's because... Oh, wow, that is weird. If I press it too fast, I guess. Your elite gamer skills are too much for the Game Boy processor. I also need That's a new computer. That's the only explanation. I mean... I don't think it's my computer, but I need a com new computer, so it's like... <laughs> Coding of Legends. Look, they just wanted to say goodbye to you. I don't know why you say goodbye, I say hello. Oh, what are you referencing? That sounds so familiar. It's a, it's a song from the Beatles. Ah! Got it, thank you. <laughs> I know comparatively little Beatles stuff. Alright. And we're here. We're we're out. In Gen 3, they introduce Azuril, a pre-evolution to Meryl, who had a 75% female to male ratio, so due to a programming error for every game until X and Y, every single Azuril that was a female would evolve into a male Meryl. Wow, that's stupid. I haven't played Gen 3, but, like, I hear Gen 3 was okay. Like, it was I like... I liked Gen 3. From what I hear, it was Gen 1 redone better. Just I with mean, more water. Kinda. It, it did feel still feel very much like the first two games. Um, whereas, like, Diamond Pearl and especially Black and White felt like they were pretty far distant. Like, like the whole plot got different, the mechanics got a little bit different. Maybe not Diamond and Pearl, but like the graphics got overhauled. All right. Because I think Gen Three was the only Gen like like that was launched on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, Fire Red and Leaf Green were also on the GBA. Mm -hmm. um, but then for Diamond and Pearl that was on the DS and so it got an entire like it was Game Boy, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance and then immediately yeah alrighty everybody um, we have accomplished quite a bit today we we beat Brock we, we uh, managed to get through the trainers over here we caught quite a few new Pokemon we saw a new Pokemon and we got halfway through Mount Moon which always takes a while for me because you have to get stuff. Um, we still have to get Clefairy, um, but we did a lot today. Um, I would like to thank my co-host for coming and, and joining me. Thank you so much, Demo. Um, of course. And thank you, Chat, for uh, for t tuning in to our... Uh, what we've actually been uh, streaming for almost three hours now. Um, yeah, thank you for a nice long stream. We're going to be streaming more... Uh, in the future, stay tuned. 
I'll post when we're streaming. It just has to be around my roommate schedule. Um, it will try to do on Fridays. If not Fridays, then Thursdays. Um, but also, let me know if you want us to do, like, two Pokemon streams in a week. Because this is very easy to stream. It's very relaxing. So, with that being said, I am Zenith, Warrior Princess. And you, wonderful people, have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time when we see what is on the other side of Mount Moon. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>